at BS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the KFFL. And here we are, Dynamite Mike Howard in sunny, kind of overcasty San Francisco. How are you doing today, Dynamite? Coach, it is great to be back for week two of the KFFL. I'm feeling good, and we got that Bay Area sunshine on our face, and you know I'm happy with that. We sure do, Dynamite. Uh, right now, it's kind of overcast, and if you notice something weird, it's that we didn't do a different intro. We were kind of brought in really quickly to come off the bench and broadcast for this because Al Michaels and Chris Collinsworth both got into a fist fight on the in the airport. Yeah, it was a gigantic brawl. They both started fist fighting. They decided Al Michaels said, I want to do the slide in. And then uh, Collinsworth said, but that's my thing. And reports are that it's just a really, really ugly scene down there. So our prayers out to their families, Dynamite. Prayers out to the families. Too many mimosas and jealousy can get you feeling some type of way, Andy Cortez. But I'm happy to take over for the big dogs. That means you and I get a little bit more check money in our back pocket for this one. Absolutely. And we are still in a packed house. The San Francisco crowd was here last week watching the game on the Jumbotron, watching their dominant victory against the bears and the crowd has not left these are fucking nutcases all the i mean this <laughs> crowd is crazy they've been here for a whole damn week um and it's yeah it's really really great to see that the home crowd is still here supporting their squad dynamite seven days of the faithful just absolutely full sending it here in santa clara i've had a couple of brewskis with the crowd out there and let me tell you we're getting restless for more san francisco 49ers football that's, that sure is right, Dynamite. Today we will be broadcasting your first game, which, uh, you know, again, it's maybe sunny here, but uh, the Chargers and the Chiefs, they're playing at nighttime. It's a different summer, winter solstice sort of thing going on over there. It's a different part of the, of the country. So we're going to be broadcasting because you voted. You all looked at the upcoming schedule and said, we want to watch the Chargers versus the Chiefs. There are a lot of kind of funny best friends and a lot of different personalities on the Chargers squad versus the Chiefs with about four or five kind of funny best friends. But you also got quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Dynamite, who are you looking to see break out here with the Chargers? When I look at the Chargers, I'm really excited, right? We got a lot of big names, but I'm circling one tight end, number 87, Dylan Cyber Bones. I'm looking for him to break out, just like he breaks out some fun clips of that kind of funny crew out there in San Francisco. I'm looking at him to break out and have a stellar game today. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more, Dynamite. I'm looking at Elise Willems at wide receiver who is looking to step up into some big shoes to fill because... I guess the Chargers signed uh, Odell Beckham. Maybe they didn't know that he tore his ACL during the Super Bowl. So I, I maybe he lied to him. Maybe that sort of fax was missed. Uh, some sort of stuff got lost in translation. So Elise Willems will be your third string starting wide receiver. More of a small sort of slot wide out looking to get in the open pockets of the field so i'm really looking uh, excited to see her out there james willems on the other side of the field mm -hmm. at free safety looking to really shut down patrick mahomes and this air raid yeah that's a couple right there just shifty speed and you know james on the opposite side is going to lay the big hit the truck stick to somebody over on kc so if you're on that offensive side pat and mahomes you better be aware of that free safety roman in the background Absolutely, Dynamite. Now let's get started with our simulation. This will be a bit of a quicker broadcast, unlike the one in the future that we're going to have right after this game where we get to watch the Chargers take on, or we get to watch the Niners, rather, take on the Seahawks, which is the Microsoft squad. Really exciting game we have looking forward to in the future. But let's get to this game right now, Dynamite. I'm going to uh, start the simulation brought to you by 
Brought to you by who, Mike? Kind of funny. Broadcast. I, I was going to say Jack Lynx. <laughs> I was just going to oh, try. Oh, okay. We, was, oh, do we get that? <laughs> Jack Lynx. I don't know. Jump don't, into some Jack Lynx beef jerky and goddamn it get hyped. Exactly. Maybe if we just force it, maybe something will happen. But let's take a look at the game right here, Dynamite. We have the kickoff from the Chargers. The Chiefs will return it. Let me put my microphone down, actually, Mike. It's, uh, it's a little uh, Maybe the wireless is kind of fucked up on it. I'm yeah, Al sure. Michaels and uh, the team over there, they get all the professional gear. You they and do. I are just kind of bubble gum and uh, rubber bands over here. <laughs> yeah, you're, de you're damn right about that. And here we have Patrick Mahomes, who is looking to continue a really fantastic season last year. Had a lot of injury issues at the end of the season. Had a lot of injury issues in the playoffs. We saw him not really performing up to his usual performance levels that we expect but he's looking to have a big breakout this year dynamite yeah he's got a great receiving core and then over at receiver right now on wide out number one you got matt cat 710 so we're going to look to see this kind of funny best friends really break out and make a statement but of course the chargers defense with joey bosa laying the stick there in the backfield that's true that you're damn right about that dynamite not only do we have Kind of funny best friend, Matt Cat, like you just mentioned. We have tight end Tyler Brando playing behind Travis Kelsey, who was one of the more dominant tight ends in the league. And blocking that right side of the field at right tackle, Alec Bobco, really looking to possibly inch closer to that Pro Bowl season he's been looking for. Yeah, Alec Bobco signing a big contract earlier in the year to hold down this old line. We'll see what he can do as, of course, Patty Mahomes. Short reception right there to get him six. Now third and ten. Got to do something on the money down, the smoney down, as the young kids say. And he's going to take a nice slide there. Eight yards, fourth and three, though. Really shocked to not even see them going for a fourth and three. I think of this charge. I think of this Chiefs team, and I think of just how reckless and how you know, gung-ho they can be about just getting out there on the field. And they decide to punt it off here on fourth and three. And out comes one of the better quarterbacks that we saw this past weekend. This is Justin Herbert. This man is six foot seven dynamite. <laughs> Holy Ooh, shit. <laughs> get out of town, bro. I'll be looking up at him all the time in the back. That's wild. No problem looking over the offensive line here. That's one issue that a lot of shorter quarterbacks tend to see, like one Nick Scarpino. That's one of the uh, sort of roadblocks you have to get by. But we'll see how Justin Herbert performs here today with the Chargers. That's going to be handoff to Austin Eckler for a gain of nine, second and one. Austin Eckler. A former teammate of ours with the uh, yeah. FCFL, um, the Fan Control Football League, and uh, to a point, kind of just grew tired of our shenanigans and decided, yes. I don't want you yes. all on the broadcast with me anymore. Totally understandable. <laughs> totally understandable with Nick Scarpino and Tim Geddes. They're asking a lot of weird questions. And that's a sack by 95. And I told myself, I'm not going to write down a whole lot of the Chiefs' names. No. And that's, I fucked up. <laughs> because I don't know who that was, that event. Uh, yeah, that's one big boy right there getting to Justin there. And as we talked about with Austin Eckler, of course, a football man, but also an owner of a championship football team, like we said. That's a big deal there. Doing it on both sides of the field here. Absolutely. That was number 95, Jones, in there for the sack on Justin Herbert. It's third and seven. Third and log here in their territory. Can they convert a first down and continue this drive? Herbert looks... Looks deep left, throws down to the middle, caught by number 80. That is Elise That's Willems. Elise Willems. That is going to be a first down, first and 10. Chargers, they keep marching down the field at midfield right now. Little celebration there from the whiteouts out from California. Former Canadian. Some people say you never leave your roots behind. I say, fuck it, leave the past behind, Dynamite. <laughs> fuck it, never going back, yeah. baby, America. That's exactly, what here. exactly. Once you're here, you're part of this bullshit, okay? <laughs> And it's nice gonna... to see Elise Willems get in early, get in the energy. And a little showboat coming from Elise, and that's what you expect from her. A little bit of spectacle, a little razzle-dazzle. You definitely need to see some sort of uh, sportsmanship or lack thereof from Elise. She's known to kind of get underneath the skin of a lot of these defensive backs, talking a lot of trash out there. Uh, I have a, a message coming in. From our owner, owner of the San Francisco 49ers, Greg Miller says, hey, the, the crowd in KC is just getting a little loud. Too wild out here. Too loud, they say. Too loud. 
All They're right, delicate let me, ears. Let me see what we can do about that dynamite. I'm not sure what the fuck I can do. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> We're going to do it, our best there. I hope, it's a, bit, we'll I hope it's a bit lower now. hope it's a tiny bit lower now. Lower than, than uh, Mike's voice. Well, Mike's got that booming voice. Just project a little bit louder. Project past yeah, the thanks. gate that I have you at. Oh, you, know you I mean? got it. You, Coach, for you, I'll get loud for you today. But, of course, we are seeing the Chargers on their first drive here really pushing forward down the field, getting in to the Chiefs' territory. This is what we want to see right now. We want to see some high-octane, high-scoring football. It is immersion. That's exactly right, Twitch chat. It is loud here in KC. Well, we're in San Francisco, but you know what I mean. Again, Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth having a big, just a uh, just coming to blows there in the uh, airport. So we're having to fill in for them live on remote in San Francisco. That's going to be a pass wow. deep left, caught by nobody, third and That's three. Mr. Howard, it's me. 49ers owner Greg Miller from the sidelines. I wasn't saying you need to turn the crowd down. You let them roll. All right, they're crazy in Kansas City. <laughs> yes, yeah, they they sure the are. Today. Actually, Johnny Ace is the owner. You're messing with the fiction of the world, but that's okay. I just am going off what he said. It's he's called gonna... improv. What do you want me to do? All right? It's I, yes I mean, and maybe. Yes he's and. A, I was coming in just to say you're talking about Austin Eckler. I was wondering if for KFFL you have thought of NFTs. Me and the other owners very interested in making some money with the NFTs. Have you, have you considered it. You know, uh, linebacker Greg Miller in the metaverse, anything's possible, all right? Anything's all right, possible. That's what I here. All right, go yeah. Chiefs! Go Chiefs! He's we Niners. too. He plays We're for the pushing Niners, these so NFTs already yeah. here. We're figuring it out, folks. It's going to be interesting to really see at the end of the season, even maybe after a couple of these games, we get some input from co-owner Johnny Ace and co-owner slash yes. player coach Greg Miller. <laughs> for the 49ers, but right now it's gonna be a pass to the left-hand side, second and six for the Chiefs as Patty Mahomes throws right to tight end. That's gonna be Dylan Cyberbones with the catch and the first oh. down. And you mentioned earlier, Dynamite, that Dylan Cyberbones looking to continue the success that we saw so much during the USFL as he played in for the Saskatchewan fucking Mountaineers, yes. you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Saskatchewan, a big-time football city. A lot of Absolutely. people talk about it. Uh, of course, they did, the <laughs> San, or San Diego Chargers did go for a fake field goal. I don't know if we missed that when we were talking oh, about I NFC. Totally missed but that. But they did do a fake field goal. Did not pay off for them. And the Kansas City Chiefs will get possession on that one. A pretty wild moment here and on the field in Kansas City. Something else to tell you, Mike, that they're the L.A. Chargers. <laughs> they're no, oh, they, shit. They, <laughs> they haven't, been, haven't been San Diego for a couple of years now. <laughs> well, but, you know, uh, Al Michaels wrote San Diego for me. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it like that. Absolutely. That's how Absolutely. And here's a fake handoff. That's going to be a, a fake handoff to, I believe that was Ronald Jones, and they gave it to Edward Zelaire, which is one of those weird names that you don't know how it's pronounced until you see it written out. Here's another handoff to Edward Zelaire. That's going to be a gain of two, second and eight for the Chiefs. I like Chiefs. how you say that. It's it's with an H, but you give it a little Z feel to it, which I like. Zelaire, I like well, that. Uh, well, the, the last name is Edwards hyphen Zelaire. Ed okay. Edwards Hilaire. Uh, Hilaire. You, you say it fast. It's like Edward Zelaire. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really that. fucking weird. <laughs> really cool <laughs> name. I don't know why the hell the crowd noise is so loud. I'm trying to figure it out, chat. Uh, let me let me see if. Uh, let me. Uh, fuck. I'm not sure actually. Uh, we wait. have Khalil Mack, right outside linebacker for the Chargers, going into the back. Looks like we got an injury on the field. We'll check in with that at halftime as the Chiefs look to get this third down. They're going to get it on the money down and continue to drive forward out of there side of the field here. And that's something you definitely need to keep an eye on with somebody who's such a big impact player as we see Edwards Alaire with a gain. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it sounds like I'm saying solar. Edwards Solar. Like Solaire. Solaire. Yeah. Zorro. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Let it let it ride off the tongue. Of Absolutely. Let, let it fly. That's going to be a uh, gain of three or four. I wasn't paying attention, Dynamite. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, first and ten for the Chargers. <laughs> it is first and ten. I thought it was going to be third down. That was going to be third down. It is uh, first and ten for the Chiefs, rather. And here's a halfback handoff out right two. Is his first name Charles? Let's call him Eddie. <laughs> Let's call, call him Eddie. Eddie. Let's call him Edward Zelaire Eddie. There's a handoff to Eddie. Gain of seven. 
They do say Eddie Kansas. City. Why is the game so fucking loud? Chad? What if I put it like this low? How about this? Is hey. it is it like muted now, uh, gamers? How do? Because this is all again. It's hard when we're doing the the dual broadcast. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know, we're here in San Francisco. Maybe the San Francisco noise is also being piped in a bit because this crowd is fucking crazy right now. The crowd has <laughs> been drinking for seven days straight. We haven't showered. Seven I days haven't straight. changed my clothes or my underwear in seven days. It's insane here. It is. They have become feral out here, Dynamite. They have become feral. Uh, I can maybe lower it a tiny bit there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. As Patty Mahomes throws left, that's going to be caught by wide receiver and don't have him written down. <laughs> That's Juju, Juju oh, that Smith is, right there. That is Juju Smith-Schuster. You're right, I was looking at the wrong team, Dynamite. That is Juju Smith-Schuster with the catch for a first down. First down for the Chiefs as Coach Andy Reid looking just joyful as always. He's got a killer mustache, Coach. I'll tell you what, when I look at that mustache, I think, man, my mustache has got some miles to go to get to that point. I mean, that's a prestigious one right there, Dynamite. You cannot mm -hmm. hope to become that. You're either born with it or you're not, but you're doing your best as you can right there. As I say, another pass out to Juju Smith-Schuster. Eight-yard gain, second and two for the Chiefs as they look to try to get on the board here first in KC. Coach, surprised we haven't seen the gritty, as the young kids call it, yet from Juju. I know he's a big TikTok megastar. I'm not on the talk. But I hear he's been doing a lot of activity on the talk and dancing a lot here in KC. Well, we did see a, a really good gritty yesterday in the real NFL. But the KFFL really brings the entertainment tenfold. As that's a first down by running back Edwards Hilaire. Eddie. Big Eddie. And Eddie's Deep Eddie Vodka. Right Calm Deep Eddie. Oh, wow. I, I've been smashing vodka all week here in San Francisco. Holy shit. <laughs> so uh, I like that reference. It feels great. Okay. Were you with the crowd for the last seven days? Have you showered, Dynamite? I thought I smelled something. thought I smelled something here in the broadcasting booth. It is first and goal for these Chiefs. Patty Mahomes looking to conduct a really good first mm. drive. Maybe it's the Getting second, I forget. Fullback. Getting that fullback involved right there. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter there. And uh, we're in the red zone, but not much activity from both sides here, coaches. It's been kind of a nil-nil, quiet-type game here in Arrowhead. Really shocking to see, especially when you have two powerful offenses who are known to kind of run and gun and get out there and be high-power scoring offenses as Patty Mahomes has plenty of time. Throws left. That's going to be a touchdown oh. to... Edwards Alaire, Eddie, deep That's Eddie. Big Eddie. Yeah, big Eddie right there. Yeah. Great touchdown. He well earned, deserved as he has really carried this team all the way to the end zone from the opposite side of the field. That's gonna be Eddie getting on the board for your Kansas City Chiefs. Now does here. Eddie have a first name? Because <laughs> Edwards Alaire on the back. What is his first That's name? That's what I'm saying, isn't it? It's weird, right? It's it's very odd. That's why I wasn't just calling him Zelaire or Hilaire, because his last name is Edwards Hilaire. Okay, okay, You see okay. the issue I'm having here, Dynamite. Now you understand I think you're the... really cool if you don't have a first name. I'm going to be honest I think it's Charles. Coach. Clyde. It's Clyde is what they're oh, saying. Oh, okay. That's okay. even cooler. Clyde's a great first name. We're not making very many Clydes anymore. Ice. That's what? a great call. Not many. Once Drexler anymore. and and Bonnie's friend over there, like you know, we don't have a whole lot of anymore. Uh, not a whole lot of Clydes anymore out there in the world. As the Chiefs will kick off after getting on the board first, it is seven to zero. And right now, there's got to be a lot of kind of funny best friends not happy about the performance from their Chargers, where a lot of kind of funny best friends play for these LA Chargers. We have at middle linebacker Nick campfire designs we have defensive tackle eric de carlo or erdy cooper we also oh, have kicker lee lee palero and punter alan lahoda also on the squad and that's going to be a run from eckler for a gain of one second and nine we see justin herbert drop back with a pass oh. out to austin eckler and that's going to be stuffed immediately third and nine for the chargers and they are really struggling to get anything out here in kansas city which is not very surprising considering that this is one of the tougher places to play i mean shit earlier we couldn't even get the crowd to pipe down so they could hear you <laughs> we had to have 
co-owner slash middle linebacker slash coach <laughs> Greg Miller come in and tell us to turn that shit down because this place is rocking in KC today absolutely loud and deafening and that's going to be hit as he throws and Herbert goes down fourth and nine for the Chargers as the luck continues to not pop up for this LA team and it looks like they are going to be punting the ball away this is going to be punter Alan Lahoda kicking the ball away trying to get good field position for his defense but that's really tough considering you're this deep back and that's going to be a fair catch at the 32 by the Chiefs. Mike, what do you think Patty Mahomes has to do out here to continue this lead? You know, if I was Patty, I would continue to hand the ball off to our guy Clyde the Glide, a.k.a. Deep Eddie, as this smash mouth run the ball down the throat of the L.A. Chargers has been really working out for them. So I'm going to stick to the run game and then maybe toss one deep to Juju out there for the gritty. That's going to be a gain of six, second and four for the Chiefs. We see Patty Mahomes throw right immediately to number nine, Juju Smith-Schuster. Is Matt Cat on this fucking team? <laughs> That's a very, very good question. Is Matt Cat, there he is. I saw him out there, number 12, out on the block. Really tough to get out there when you have so many people on the defense focusing you, Dynamite. Yes, of course, is right. Matt Cat has been high up on the scouting reports, and he's going to be double teamed. He's going to have the best DBs on him throughout the night. So we're going to see if he can get a touch on that one. And I believe that is his first touch right there. Matt Cat is found on that easy route. And so far, a perfect day. That was actually his third reception. His perfect day from Mahomes right now. Nine of nine with a uh, handoff to number 20. Was that 20? Not on my list, Dynamite. <laughs> Not on my oh, list. Oh, wow. Getting deep into <laughs> yeah. the, the roster. Oh, that was, that was actually that was Eddie. That was Deep Eddie. Speaking of getting uh, deep, Deep Eddie. <laughs> deep Eddie Vodka getting that pitch and getting stuffed immediately in the backfield. Found deep in the backfield is right, Absolutely. Coach. Third and nine for these Chiefs at midfield. Eight minutes, 40 seconds to go in the half. Mahomes throws right to nobody, throw it out of bounds, didn't want to risk anything, which is doesn't really seem like it's part of his personality. I'm used to Mahomes just flinging it anywhere he can. As that punt goes out of bounds pretty early at the 28-yard line, that was punter Tommy Townsend. Yeah, Big my Tommy. Tommy T. Tommy T with a rocking mullet. He loves the party out here in KC, Coach. And I've had a couple of brewskis with Tommy. Got a boot on him. Big old boot. As Herbert drops back, throws over the head Ooh. of number 13, Keenan Allen. That's not the way you want to start off a drive. So far, could be this young man's got the nerves out there, Dynamite. Yeah, Justin just hasn't been able to put it together lately. I mean, we talked about him seeing over the line, but of course here in the San Francisco faithful, we're all about our short king who really just struggles to look over these tall offensive linemen. So we're a short king family out here in San Francisco. And even shorter with that sort of hunch that he's sort of developed over the decades on this planet. <laughs> That's all about posture, coach, okay? You gotta practice it, you gotta live it. And unfortunately, our short king, a.k.a. Nick Scarpino, the old man, he doesn't really think about his posture anymore. That's going to be first and ten for the Chargers after there's a roughing the passer. And that could be the spark that the Chargers needed right here. It's second and third at midfield. Can they get deeper into Chiefs territory? We'll see if they can get a score on the board. That's going to be a pass completed to, I believe that was Austin Eckler, out on the left side of the field. It sure was. That is correct. He is a dynamic back coach is what they call that. He can do it all from the backfield out to the wide out position as well. This guy can do it all. He is a weapon to have. Absolutely. Always great to have somebody who can not only hand the ball off to, but catch the ball out in the flat as that's going to be offside or false start, I believe, on the Chargers. Oh, you think so? Sure is. Wow. As it's... One step forward, two steps back for the Chargers. Cannot find any momentum here, Dynamite. Mm. As we go back, it's first and 15. We're now, Coach, see. talking about one step forward, two steps back. You were out at a wedding 
this weekend. Looking <laughs> goddamn <laughs> dapper and looking good. How was the dance floor? That's what I need to know. Uh, it was non-existent, Dynamite. It was pretty <laughs> non-existent. It wasn't the traditional wedding I was expecting, uh, especially because, you know, my friend that I went out there to go watch her get married, I'm used to big Mexican pachangas. I'm used to every third and fourth and fifth cousin in the house, and there's a warehouse packed full of 390 people. Yes. But it was a smaller thing there in Austin, Texas. Wasn't as big of a production as I would have expected. And uh, there wasn't a whole lot of dancing, but a buddy of mine did play in the band, and he did a fantastic job. Played a lot of samba cumbia music Ooh. really really good yeah. stuff really good stuff in austin texas had some oh killed some pluckers yesterday get out of town oh. amazing oh my gosh some pluckers down there in the deep south is always nice now andy cortez no cupid shuffle no cupid shuffle no oh. anything no anything oh. just a lot of drinking is this kick for the field goal is going to be short by lee palero kind of funny best friend lee palero leaving it short but what else are you going to do? You're putting your kicker in a bad spot out there, and that is going to be about maybe five or six feet short. Unfortunately, Coach is not looking happy about that as the Chiefs will go back out of the field. And that's, that's really tough for your young kicker. You're trying to get him some confidence. You want him to go out there knowing that he's going to be able to just make these kicks right down the middle, but you're putting him in a tough spot having him kick from that deep dynamite. Yeah, not what you want to do for that kicker right there, putting him in the wrong spot. And Patty's going to go deep, and oh, man, get up there and get it. Unfortunately, incomplete. But that's going to be a tough one for these L.A. Chargers, Coach, as they are down 0-7, and they're probably not going to get this ball back unless the defense can really step up here before the half. And that's going to be a big hit by number 35, James Willems, on the running back, Deep Eddie. It's third and eight. Mahomes drops back. Throws to the right side, and that is caught by number 87, Dylan Cyberbones. That was Travis Kelsey. I'm sorry, my mistake. That yes. was Travis Kelsey. Cyberbones playing on the opposite uh, side wrong of the team. field. The other number, team. Yeah, the other 87. That's the other. You've been drinking some deep Eddie oh, vodka oh with my. me today. I'm still hungover from yesterday, but I'm still hungover <laughs> from the party. I didn't know I was at Pluckers the other day. Yeah. It's a great night, great night. That's going to be a first down of Travis Kelsey. As we see another... Offensive push here from your Kansas City Chiefs. Mahomes drops back, throws in the middle of the field. That's caught by Juju Smith-Schuster, and he's Juju taken down. Game. Yeah. Juju's having a fantastic day so far, and a lot of that has got to be this defense concentrating so much on kind of funny best friend Matt Cat, Matthew Catron. He's making a lot of people have to double him, and that leaves the middle of the field wide open for Juju Smith-Schuster. Record a little TikTok, get back on the line of scrimmage, big fella. I hear he's doing a lot of TikToks lately with Jackson Mahomes, of course, <laughs> brother to Patty Mahomes. Everybody loves Jackson out there in KC, I hear. Really brings a lot of good vibes to the locker room. And Edwards Alaire, deep Eddie, getting that, uh, pulling back deep to get that big stiff arm in on the defensive lineman. Mahomes throws left to Deep Eddie once again. That's going to be a gain of eight, oh. a gain of nine. A big truck stick from Deep Eddie. Check, take a look at this truck stick, kids. Don't ever try to play defense against this when you just have somebody that can run over you. Holy cow. Man, putting the wood to him right there, lowering the shoulder. And Deep Eddie's in his duffy right now, looking to score again here before the end of the half. First and ten nearly in the goal line position. That's going to be a fake handoff to Edwards Alaire, and Patrick Mahomes runs to the fourth, uh, to the four yard line. It is second and three for these Chiefs. Patty takes a big hit, but gets right back up. That's an all-star quarterback right there. Deep Eddie, almost the first. Almost the line of scrimmage, as you got to be careful if you're Patrick Mahomes. That's one of those plays where if you are in the box if you're in the uh in the box watching this team and you have any sort of ownership you look away when you see your quarterback take a big hit like that yeah unfortunately here in san francisco old man nick scarpino cannot take a hit like that bones bones so brittle they would snap in half at any moment 100 percent, and that was a tackle by jeff gersman number 98 jeff gersman getting in there getting some pressure in the middle of the field and they're going to give him forward progress on that i didn't think he had the forward progress but 
They're going to give it to him. It's first and goal. That could have been a huge goal line stop for these charges. But let's be honest. If it's fourth and goal, the Chiefs are still likely going for it. It's first and goal right now as Patty Mahomes throws in the middle wide open to number 12, Matthew Catron. Matt Cat. Oh, give me the... Oh, Matt Cat with that touchdown. It is going to be 14 to 0. Where the fuck was number 32 running? Right behind you, brother. Turn Not around. Defense there. Jesus wow. Christ. Embarrassing to have the person right behind you. The fox was in the hen house, the killer was in the house the whole time as it's 14 to 0 here in Arrowhead Stadium. Not the pick of the week here, coach. I'll tell you what, you know, the kind of funny best friends, they voted on this one. And I'll tell you what, these LA Chargers have not shown up for them. And this is probably going to be a blowout here as we head into the second half and onward. The minute 38 left in the half. We'll see what the Chargers can cook up. Or maybe they just need to get to the half and have a little discussion, maybe a pep talk from the players there. Because so far, maybe call players only meeting Dynamite. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I just POMs. saw Dylan Cyberbones in the background. He's got a nasty visor on. You got to get that man yeah. the rock. Absolutely. You can't read his eyes. You got the, you got them, you got them poker eyes. How, what, what do they call that shit? <laughs> Fucking can't read them. What's it called? Poker face is what I was looking for. Poker Lady face. Gaga. Oh, okay. Lady Lady, Gaga. I was going to say the Lady Gaga face. Is what poker I was eyes, know I barely with. know her. <laughs> As it's, uh, looks, it's a minute. And 10 seconds left in the first half. Justin Herbert throws deep right to Elise Willems, and that's going nice. out of bounds. That will stop the clock as well. And the Chargers have all their timeouts here, Dynamite, as they uh, approach approach maybe some sort of score here. I don't want to jinx it yet for them. Yeah. So that's a nice pitch and catch from Herbert to Elise Willems. Elise Willems, the Canadian, getting up there. That is a great catch there. Nice to see Elise back in the game once again, getting some touches. Here at the 29-yard line, first and 10, a minute left. All timeouts for the Chargers as Herbert drops back, throws left, and that's going to be Dump out of bounds. Nobody. Second and 10. If you're just Herbert currently 11 and 17, but those six incomplete passes really were the make or break for the squad. And there's a catch by Elise Willems for five yards. That's going to be third and five for the Chargers as they call a timeout. Try to get some stoppage on the field. Third and five, 59 seconds left to go. They're in field goal position, but they want to push further. Let's see if Herbert can do that. And that's going to be just out the outstretched hands of Dylan Cyberbones. And they elect to go for the field goal with 55 seconds left. And you know it's a tale as old as time. As this kick is up and good by Lee Polero. Good. It's Lee, a tale as old as time, two. Dynamite. 55 seconds left. All timeouts for the Chiefs. Did you make a mistake in calling a timeout and trying to get some time stoppage? We'll see right here as the kickoff is from Lee Polero. Brought out to the 24-yard line. Stuffed at the 24. And Andy Reid is telling his quarterback, go out there and get us another fucking touchdown, big guy. You got to think that mustache is rocking. Maybe a little bit of just bugs and sweat on that mustache, letting you know I want one more. We'll see what the Chiefs can do here with 48 seconds left to go. All timeouts. Throw down the middle. That's going to be caught by Travis Kelsey. One of the main threats you have to make sure is covered is not covered in the middle of the field. So that's going to be a first down there here at the 39-yard line. 43 seconds to go. Dicing up this L.A. Chargers defense so far tonight. And Patty Mahomes is having his way with them as they are now on the opposite side of the field. And it's definitely going to be scoring threat time. As that is a completed pass to Matt Cat, Matthew Catron who, when paid the gifted subs and said, create my character, Andy, said, hey, uh, any any chance you can make me first? Oh! oh, my goodness. And that is picked off by number 27, J.C. Jackson from the Chargers. Not a creative player. As I was about to tell you about Matt Katz, creative player story. And wow. J.C. Jackson says, Andy, shut the fuck up and watch this big guy. 
This is an ESPN Sports Center top 10 plays. He reads that route and absolutely gets horizontal on him. Absolutely a great athletic play by the young DB. As Herbert comes back out onto the field and they don't have the worst field position here. They could be buried deep at their 10, but they are here nearly at midfield at the 38 yard line. Herbert drops back. They have two timeouts remaining. 30 seconds to go. Deep pass to Elise oh! Willems at the 42-yard line. A great catch by Elise Willems there near the sideline. Couldn't get out of bounds. Fell down before. They have to use their timeout. They have one remaining here. 26 seconds to go. Justin Herbert trying to make a miracle here before halftime. Throws deep left, and that is defended oh. beautifully by number 23, Joshua Williams. That is such a great heady play by that defensive back. That was, we were nearly heading to the half 14 10 with a new ball game. It's 20 seconds to go. Herbert throws out right, and that is caught by Austin Eckler. My mistake, that's going to be Keenan Allen going out of bounds. Third and three. They still have their one timeout remaining, Dynamite. I think that pick from our guy JC Jackson has really ignited the flames for the Chargers here. Justin feeling a lot more confident and finding Elise whenever needed to. A perfect little pitch and catch between the two of them. And let's see if they can keep this going. Absolutely right, Dynamite, as Herbert takes the ball and throws it right to Austin Eckler. But there's a flag on the play, and that could be, that could be some sort of offensive holding penalty. Oh, unfortunate. It sure is an offensive holding penalty. Terrence steal the right tackle. You cannot do that on these crucial plays right here. 11 seconds ago, one timeout remaining. Third and 12 as Herbert drops back. Keeps Just surveying, and he just falls back. down. Herbert runs into his own offensive lineman and puts them out of field goal territory. They have to go oh, for it on 4th wow. and 20. That is unbelievable. Lost his footing. You know, the field's still wet here. You're here in, in Kansas City as Herbert throws deep. I'm going to huck one up. And that is almost wow. caught and it taken down. Holy cow, that would have been a way to go into the, into halftime with a touchdown to Keenan Allen, but they will not. It is 14-3, and you hate to see that for these Chargers, who as soon as they are on the cusp, on the precipice of getting some sort of score, they immediately forfeit that, and we go into halftime right now. We'll tell you about the games around the league right now as, let's see that fucking rectangle pop up. <laughs> the Colts and the Jaguars, they play later. So we'll see how that, we'll see what happens there. But they're not playing right now. And remember, it's Thursday. It's technically Thursday, so there's no yes. other games on right now. Texans playing the Broncos. We'll see what's up over there in Mile That'll high. be a bad game. That'll be a skippable it's game. It's going to be a shitty right game. <laughs> yeah, <That'll, laughs> that's a skippable game. That's going to be a real bad. Let Broncos country, let's ride. The Bears take on the Packers, and you got to yeah. assume that Aaron Rodgers is going to take it to that really, yeah. really bad Bears team we saw last week, Dynamite. Expected a lot more out of them last week. They suck. They suck. Plain and simple, Coach. We don't need to see any of those games. The only games we're circling is our San Francisco 49er faithful. We've been here all week, and we're pumped up to see week number two. Nick Scarpino, Andy Cortez, and, of course, Ant-Man 0208 have been the three-headed dragon, and we're looking to see more of that on the offensive side. But as you talked about it here, as we head into the second half, the, Ch the Chargers showing a little bit of life there in that final minute. And then, of course, doing LA things and absolutely just losing the momentum. And I, I don't think they're gonna come back for this one. Can't spell LA without that L dynamite as Woo! Herbert comes back out on the field, trying to get some semblance of momentum going for his Chargers squad. You gotta assume it's really frustrating for this team who gets so close on so many plays and then immediately finds a way to get a hold. Think about that really big key holding penalty that brought them back, as that's a really nice juke by Austin Eckler as he goes out of bounds for a six yard gain. So shifty, so Austin shifty. Eckler is so great at making something out of nothing. That would have been a two yard gain, made it a six. And that is caught down the middle by Austin Eckler once again. Get down big fella, don't you dare fumble that as we are here at the 45 yard line. Justin Herbert showing some signs of life dynamite. Yeah, nice to see him getting up, getting back active after the half right now. They got to find something, and Austin Eckler is going to be that workhorse. You got to go to him throughout this matchup if you want to get it done. 
Absolutely. And of course, Coach, while we're here on the sidelines, I need to get a quick report in. Coming in from another co-owner, Johnny Ace, that says, hey, best friends out there and everybody tuning in to the KFBS right now. If you're watching our sports network, please remember that you can help support the team by subscribing at the tier one through three level or even using your prime gaming subs right here on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games, home of the KFFL. Remember you are keeping the lights on here for myself and coach in the broadcast booth. So if you want more KFFL, if you want more fun content, make sure to subscribe. Absolutely. You, Absolutely. Dynamite is we already have a subscription by Berto Lopez. And remember, if you are happening to watch this VOD on YouTube, this is up on Kind of Funny Plays, not Kind of Funny Games, as Herbert goes down on a sack at for a loss of seven. That is second and 17. If you happen to be watching this VOD on YouTube and said, hey, I wish I could have subscribed. I wish I could have been watching live. Wish I could have supported with my wallet. You can do that on YouTube. Hit that little thanks button. Drop wow. a little, Mike, you know what? I'm going to drop a little $2 tip right there for this amazing broadcasting crew. Tip. I'll drop a little $2 tip letting the squad know that I appreciate them. And thank you for reminding me, Mike, that uh, this is a for-profit business. So thank you for, for bringing up the logistical aspects of this. Is It's second and seven for the Chargers. And a handoff up the middle. Again, turning, you know, nothing into somewhat of something. Going from third, second and 17 to third and 11 for Austin Eckler. Herbert drops back. This is a big third down right now. Justin got plenty of time, all the time in the world. Got to find someone and does just that. Hot That's number Keenan 13, Allen. Keenan Allen right there. And we're in the red zone, folks, for the first time, really, for these L.A. Chargers. Great protection on that offensive line by these Chargers. We're looking at no kind of funny best friends, but got a lot of help from center Corey Lindsley and Jamari Salyer. Not sure if it's Slayer and maybe the L and the Nave. There's a typer mm. there. So I like Slayer more. Slayer would be way cooler. Yeah, that'd be Slayer a really, be really nasty great name. If that was your last name. And you need to score on this drive as as Herman's oh, fumbles no. the ball. And you got to be kidding me with the luck that these Chargers are having. As soon as they get close, as soon as they get a little touch and taste of that glory, they immediately find a way to shoot themselves in the foot. As that's a Really nice play by Bolton, though, getting the quarterback sack, causing that pressure, causing that fumble, and the Chiefs take over. Really unfortunate for that young quarterback right there, Dynamite. Yeah, as you said earlier in the broadcast, can't spell L.A. without a big old L, and that is a massive L in the red zone to cough up the football right when you thought you had the momentum once again, showing signs of life, they just lose that, and now it's back to KC to put in the work. It's a three-yard gain on the right-hand side from Mahomes. I was hoping to see some sort of competition here, Dynamite. I wanted to be able to cheer for something. That's a big sack Ooh. by number 97. Don't have him on the don't have him on the list, Dynamite. Oh, Joey, Joey Bosa. Bosa. And Joey Bosa, who will be seeing his brother later on in the Niners versus Seahawks game. What do you think those Thanksgiving dinners are like oh, because uh, the, we know the other oh. the, we know the other Bosa not the best not the best Jabroni Nick Bosa there. who said he didn't want to play in San Francisco because it's so liberal uh, what a <laughs> uh, legitimately said that that is not a joke was said he didn't want to be drafted to the Niners because they are it's such a liberal city what a fucking nightmare those Thanksgivings have to be dynamite as it is fourth and 16 and the Chargers are going to get the ball back right here dynamite that's one of those Thanksgiving dinners I politely pass on and find to the next invitation. There. Absolutely. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I have nowhere to go, but I'd rather not go anywhere right now as these Chiefs will punt the ball over. This is punter Tommy Townsend. Tommy Gunn is what they call him. As this punt really short here, Dynamite, caught at the 48-yard line. This is going to be great starting position for these L.A. Chargers. Caught by Elise Willems. She will take the fair catch and here comes Justin Herbert once again figuring out how the fuck am I going to screw this up for my squad this yeah, time just struggling <laughs> what can I do today? on this drive to really kind of keep that variety up as this is a handoff to Austin Eckler a gain of three gain of two my mistake second and eight for these Chargers Sherbert the Sunday LA thank you for the tier one love Ooh. 14 months of support from Sherbert Sunday as that's a flag on the Chargers I believe it's a false start 
Sure is. Holy shit, this squad is unbelievable right now. This must have been what it was like to root for goddamn, uh, what's his face? The other Chargers quarterback, Mike, before Justin Phillip Herbert. Rivers. Phillip Rivers. Yeah, this I mean, must have been what it was like to root for Phillip Rivers all those years. Just always finding a way to ruin things, and that's a great catch by uh, that is going to be Keenan Allen on the catch. Yeah, really tough to be a uh, San Diego Chargers fan, now an L.A. Chargers fan. You would have wished they just stayed in San Diego and continued to lose down there, and nobody would have paid attention. But tough here is you really thought they had figured this one out. And they hope to figure something out the rest of the season as Herbert getting his squad pumped up. And here's the thing, Mike. I always loved Phillip Rivers. Always loved the tenacity. I'll never forget when he finished that playoff game with a torn ACL. Had it torn, like, around halftime, I think, and they... He just knew his leg hurt, didn't know it was torn. Just an absolute warrior out there. Um, but the team could just never quite get it together for him. And that's he's one of those quarterbacks that you know should have won a ring. Mm. But outlying circumstances, and that outlying circumstance, his name is Tom Brady. Always getting that's in the true, way. Coach. That's true right there. We're back in the red zone again. Second time this quarter for Justin Herbert and the team. Let's see if they can get it done. This is going to be a gain of nothing. Second and goal for the Chargers. Yeah, it's going to be on the back of Austin Eckler here. If they want to get into the end zone, they're going to have to keep feeding 30 the rock, and they're going to do just that. Oh, a massive hit right there at the goal line. Huge hit by Trent McDuffie getting in his Duffy right there, Woo! Dynamite, as this My is guy. Herbert on third down, passes to the one-yard line, caught wow. by Keenan Allen. Will they go for it? I think you have to. I think you have to go for the fourth down. You've had too many missed opportunities there's no telling when you'll be back here i think you have to go for it right now dynamite i agree coach you have to do this you're down late in this game we're in the second half and justin herbert is going to step up to the line let's see what they do it's going to be a handoff to number 36 that's a touchdown chargers to halfback fullback andrew francis king franchise with wow. the touchdown a massive play by your fullback who sometimes doubles as a halfback every once in a while. Give it to the big fella. Get that touchdown, King Franchise. Huge play by Andrew big Francis. There for King Franchise. Very surprising that King Franchise once again chooses the wrong team, of course, an LA Dodgers fan. Going with the LA Chargers, not a Rams guy. Very surprising there from King Franchise. Choosing the worst teams in the nation. <laughs> he is a, well he is a Dodgers fan he's used to a lot of success there this is a good two point conversion to Elise Willems getting within a field goal wow. score 14 to 11 and we finally have something cooking here in Kansas City Dynamite I am surprised we have ourselves a ball game after all the trash that we have talked on the LA Chargers we do have a game here in case we're responsible for this we are the ones who motivated them Dynamite as this here's the kickoff too the Chiefs and that's going to be brought out thought they'd go settle for the touchback as that's going to be brought out to the 21 yard line can Patrick Mahomes answer get some insurance points out there and Yo Soda makes a great point which is one of my favorite Dan Lebitard jokes death taxes and Philip Rivers having the ball with a minute left to go and no timeouts with the whole length of the field to go. It's just, it is a storybook thing and we just see it all the time as that's gonna be a gain of two, second and eight for your Chiefs. Yeah, coach, when we talk about the old school San Diego Chargers, what a squad. You could look back on the years, the generations there. You had LT in the backfield. You had Antonio Gates, you had Philip Rivers, who would probably punch a baby to try to win. He's insane and just never really got it done. You're absolutely right about that. The man's passion was never in question. You'd see that man fighting everybody out there on the field. And I love the tenacity and the shit talking he had dynamite. He would always argue with people. Really, really huge fan of him out there. As we yes, see these yes. uh these Chiefs, I believe they they're called the, the play was called back. It looked like they had a long pass to Travis Kelsey. As here's a catch by number nine, Juju Smith-Schuster. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Chiefs. Wow. And that is a way Massive. to answer. That is how you answer a touchdown score by the Chargers. Massive play to Juju Smith-Schuster. 
as the extra point is good. And sometimes, Mike, Dynamite, I'm wondering, what the fuck is this camera view? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. What the fuck is this camera view right here, Madden? As I was about to complain about Madden and say, you you, you kind of wish sometimes they'd show you some instant replays for certain plays. I would have loved to have seen an instant replay for that touchdown catch. And they immediately said, fuck you, Andy. Here's people's feet underneath yes. the stadium. Yes. What yes. the That's fuck what was that cameraman doing down there, Dynamite? Is it is 21 to 11 here in KC? And Justin yeah, Coach, Herbert says, really God damn quick. it, I just scored. Give me a break out there, Patty. Coach, you have done a fantastic job on the mic today. You did so well that you painted me the picture with that play-by-play -play commentary because I can't see anything here in San Francisco. It might be the booze. It might be the broadcast feed on my side. But I am frozen here. Oh, no. But I will tell you what. You painted the picture of that touchdown for me, folks. <laughs> I guess you'll just have to watch the rest of the game as this is a, a, a pass to Keenan Allen. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good there, Dynamite. Maybe we pause the game for a tech timeout. Maybe we pause the game for a TV timeout. I'm going to, right now, I'm going to cut over to uh, just the game feed. And I'll, I'll try to share this feed with you once again, Dynamite. Thank you, Coach, right there. Thank you to our incredible broadcast crew. Remember, this is impossible without each and every one of you tuning in to another KFBS broadcast as I am... How about Cut now? it back. You're... Cut it back. No, I'm frozen again there. Frozen what the again fuck in the world. is going on here? <laughs> this ain't good, Dynamite. This oh, is... Uh, it's good. I'm going in frame by frame right now. Oh, everybody. really? Yeah. I wonder if... Uh, I, w I wonder if... Maybe may maybe Barrett's uploading or downloading something over ah, here on yes, his end. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's trying. It's trying really hard. You know, of course, our broadcast isn't the greatest we are a two-man crew that is trying to get it done and i am back i am happily back now wow. so let's just ride that beautiful <laughs> this is going to be a run up the middle third and one we'll switch to the two shot view yes. not what i wanted not what i wanted one of the picture in picture <laughs> and here we go as this is going to be a first down chargers here at midfield and you know what i just realized i haven't been recording any of this game I haven't been recording any of it, oh, so I'll go ahead and oh. hit record right now. I'll oh, have to no. get that Twitch VOD later, Dynamite. You know what I'm saying? Here's a handoff to Austin Eckler. And again, the shifty moves as he barrels forward for a first down. Looked like that was going to be a two or three yard gain and turns it into an 11 yard gain as we get to the fourth quarter. Final quarter about to start here in KC. We're actually in San Francisco, as you can see in the uh, in the two bo the, the, in, in this shot. We're here in... We're, we're here in SF. They're fucking going nuts back there. They're waiting. They can't wait. They've been tailgating for the last week, Dynamite. Uh, Some we'll killer tailgating. Cut back to the uh, KC feed. Again, Collinsworth and Al Michaels could not make it. The fisticuffs in the airport. Yeah. We'll see if they can ever mend that relationship. 21 to 11. Second and two as the Chargers are threatening. And this is... This is the sort of excitement I was hoping and hoping uh, to see out of these uh, two squads. Really exciting stuff. And, you know, as we see Austin Eckler get the ball again, it reminded me of a time, Coach, where you and I, we got to spend time with Austin Eckler, albeit very short, maybe one week. But you think to yourself, man, we get to hang out with this guy. How cool is that? And then he quickly shut the door on us yeah. because we are just not cool enough to talk sports with him. As Jason Pierre-Paul heads to wow. the sideline, did he lose another finger, Dynamite? I was just going to say, hopefully one <laughs> of those fingers are still intact, yeah. Coach. That man is a monster. As we have another pass caught by Elise Willems. That's going to be a first down Chargers. And these Chargers, they're making some moves here, Dynamite. Mm -hmm. Looking good right now. Elise Willems has been that safety blanket for Justin Herbert when he wants to go to the air. He's really lucked out with Austin Eckler having himself a game and Elise Willems having herself a game. We have not seen Dylan Cybermones really get active, kind of wearing that arm sleeve for no apparent reason. Reminding <laughs> me when I used to play and just overdressing for way too much stuff for not getting any touches. You're damn right. That's how I uh, fitted all of us. I put us all in that in that football drip. We are all like just pads and fucking <laughs> sleeves all over the place. We look dope as hell, dynamite out there. Real drippy out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Second and seven for these Chargers. 
10 minutes ago in the fourth quarter. Herbert hands off to Austin Eckler and a big Massive gain up hole. the middle. That's going to be a 15-yard gain for these Chargers to make it first and goal. Chargers are saying not quite yet, Patrick Mahomes, not quite yet. And coach, uh, I'm checking in on our live chat right now. Of course, all of our viewers out there in the audience watching along with us. Michael R. O'Leary writes in, Mike over investing, no way. Uh, of course, coach, I told you the story, went jean shopping this weekend. Uh -huh. And I said, I just need one pair of jeans, preferably a black pair. Next thing I know, I'm walking out of the store with three black pairs of jeans and two more jeans. So uh, five pairs of jeans for someone who never wears jeans. It was a, a wild day, wild day. <laughs> yeah, you don't always have to go for the uh, seven pairs of jeans for a $100 deal. You don't always have to do that dynamite as we see a huge touchdown from Austin Eckler to bring this score closer. And we see the extra point right here from Lee Polero to keep it within a three-point game once again. A one possession game. It is 21 to 18 here wow. in KC. And that's the that's booze a, might be setting in, coach, because I thought that was a five point game. So great quick math on your part. The absolutely. booze might be setting in here. Absolutely. Yeah. You got to understand that when you're down by four, kicking an extra point doesn't make you go back a point. You go up <laughs> one. <laughs> so it makes it a three point game. Uh, and a great answer from these Chargers, Dynamite. Great answer. <laughs> great answer once again sticking it keeping it close but they got to get it done on the defensive side they've answered now in this second half they've made it a ball game but the issue is is they continue to let patty mahomes in this chief offense score and keep it just out of reach and the running back edwards alaire just kind of nonchalantly shoves jeff gersman down to the ground you do not want to be on that highlight tape if you're a Chargers player. And here is Matt Cat with a catch down the right side of the field. That's going to be a gain of 12 for a first down. Great one right there. And once again, I say it again, L.A. got to find a way on defense to get this stop. The clock is going to continue to chew. Patty Mahomes is going to do Patty Mahomes stuff. And you got to find a way to get the ball back to Justin Herbert in the offense here. Absolutely dynamite as we continue this final quarter. Nine minutes left to go. 21 to 18. Can the Chargers get some sort of stop or can the Chargers hold them to a field goal at least? And here's Patty Mahomes. He drops out right. And he gets oh. tackled down to the ground by number 97, Joey Bosa. The Bosa boys are back again. He has been doing it all on that defensive line really holding down that edge protection there and does not let patty get off and running which is exactly what you got to do with a quick quarterback like that and he's one of the better defensive ends in this league somebody you have to keep an eye on and understand that rolling out is not as simple as it is roll out honey mm. with the top man roll out money do you think co-owner johnny ace can book ludicrous to play at one of our halftime shows that would be incredible with the connections that co-owner 49ers has for uh that johnny ace has i have no doubt in my mind mm. wow i really Love fucked that. up that sentence huh? <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> fucked up put that one together there hell of a start here here's oh! a big interception by the chargers number 23 bryce callahan on the interception and that is exactly what this chargers team needed get a huge stop give your team some hope that is two for two now on reading those inside hook routes and just being there at the right place right time for these la chargers putting justin herbert in a position to win right now are we going to see la do the impossible and have a massive comeback here in kc for the win late in this fourth quarter right now this has been a really exciting game so far dynamite it is 21 to 18 and the chargers are threatening that's going to be a really nice gain by austin eckler gain of four second and six seven minutes to go Justin Herbert looking to make some magic happen. Drops back, play action pass, throws they, deep Great left. Find. Deep left to number 87, Dylan Cyberbones. And just when you said he wasn't anywhere to be seen or heard from, he was in the matrix the whole time, hacking the planet. Dylan Cyberbones with a massive reception down to the 15 yard line massive post route from Cyberbones to get open to slice through that defense and he's looking drippy he's earned that drip right there here the 13 yard line first and 10 
for these Chargers. Let's see what they can do here, Dynamite. Hand off to Austin Eckler. Stopped oh, early. Great stuff. defense by these Chiefs. This Chiefs defensive line saying, not quite yet, Austin Eckler. We know you're shifty. We're going to figure out a way to stop you. That's another stop. Two in a row in an injury timeout. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's our guy Slayer. It's Slayer. Yeah. You got you got dyslexia. It's Slayer. <laughs> you got dyslexia like me. It's definitely Slayer. That's... Yeah, we'll pray for him and his family. Hope everybody's okay over there. That's probably a broken wrist. They're going to need to shoot him up in the back and send him right back out there because this team desperately needs the O-line to continue to protect Justin Herbert and most importantly make holes for Austin Eckler. And that's what happens. You lose Slayer, and then that's just going to be a bad toss. No offensive line to help. And this... Chiefs defense taking advantage knowing that there's a key position missing out there on the field knowing that there's a key player let's take advantage of that backup oh. and they sure did and let's they're going for the field goal here's kind of funny best friend Lee Polero for the tie and it's good dynamite nice little, nice little chip shot from Lee he did miss one deep earlier but able to knock in the past two field goals and we have ourselves a tied up game here at Arrowhead and that's a big deal right now and two familiar making a great point the exact point I was about to make just to just shoot up some Toradol on that wrist yeah mm. shoot up I've some Toradol get, tor get the in my life oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I just get up on there and just say shoot me baby any shoot any, me. any reason why any, <laughs> any reason why? just to feel just, just to, to feel, feel something again. <laughs> yeah. yeah I totally understand that feeling dynamite as it's 21 to 21 here at the 26 yard line handoff to edwards alaire to clyde the glide mm -hmm. deep eddie it says 16 for 35 but those stats really don't show what he's done today and how valuable he's been to patty mahomes in this offense and another huge run by bonnie and clyde edwards alaire that's going to be a first down chiefs five minutes to go and you get into this spot of the game where it's near the it's the fourth quarter there's five minutes to go is there any way to run out the full clock and just save a field goal do you give the other team a chance to score what do you do here dynamite uh, i mean if you are the kc chiefs right now la chargers are surging you cannot give them the ball back justin herbert is getting deep in the duffy using elise and austin eckler you got to chew the clock here at home and I think that's what they're going to do right now. Couldn't agree more Dynamite as we have a fake handoff to Edwards Alaire and Patty Mahomes with all the time in the world throws deep right to nobody just getting the ball out of bounds knew he had nothing makes a smart call and gets it out of bounds instead of forcing another throw and possibly throwing an interception you got to wonder if that's affecting the mental at all Dynamite. Yeah two picks now in crunch time and that is unfortunate because he might be questioning his arm here. Let's see if he can make a big adjustment on third and nine. He's going to need to get something in the backfield. Third and nine here. Patty Mahomes slings it right. That is caught by Travis Kelsey for a Chiefs first down at midfield. It's just easy when you have somebody like Travis Kelsey there. Just a big body, able to make space, and just solid hands. It makes it easy when you're the quarterback in the third and nine. Look at that sidearm toss, that gun from Patty Mahomes. You're right about that, Dynamite. A great security blanket to have. Big body to toss to. Kind of just going to box everybody out behind him as he gets the first down. Here's a handoff to Edwards Alaire. A huge wow. run up the middle. And he gets boomed to the ground by James Willems, free safety. But not before he gets that first down. And you're starting to see that clock get lower and lower. A little while ago, it was five and a half minutes. Suddenly, you get to the three-minute mark, and you start to panic if you're the Chargers. Yeah, this is not a good position to be in for the Chargers. Of course, for the home team, Casey, this is exactly where you want to be. We're going to eat up the clock, get in a field goal position, and we're going to finish this game with an easy chip shot field goal. And uh, you need a stop just like that with the Bosa boys getting deep into the backfield. It's going to be a holding penalty on the Chiefs. Kind of a, a godsend penalty for the Chargers. Give them some time to breathe, push them back, give them some help as it's first and 20 for these Chiefs. Mahomes drops back, throws down right short to McCole Hardman. That's going to be a gain of seven. Second and 13 for these Chiefs. Here at the 38-yard line, two and a half to go. 
It's crunch time, Dynamite. Another big play right now. Got to get into the backfield, and they stuff that one. That's exactly what you want to see from L.A. One final stop here, and you're going to keep them out of field goal position and possibly get the ball back here at the two-minute marker. So this is going to be the play of the game right now. We're all going to watch. Have to shut this down. And I don't even have number 31 on the depth chart right here. Huge play from somebody that I didn't even get to write down because they may have been too low on the depth chart. It's a great play. Mahomes drops back. It's third and 18. Throws left to Edwards Alaire, and he's going to be short. Massive stop. And this is a huge stop because are you too, are you out of field goal range at this point? And now it's great to see Khalil Mack come back injured in the first. I heard they shot him up with some tortoise. <laughs> yeah. And he's back, baby. <laughs> What's up with this guy's arm? Jesus, the <laughs> textures are not looking great there. Uh, what was the name of that drug you just mentioned, Dynamite? Uh, Tortorol, if you never heard about that one. <laughs> it's not what it's called. That's it. You oh, no, that's it, the new drug. That's oh, a new it's a drug. new one. It's a new, it's a new, <laughs> new prescription they got there in the Chiefs locker room. As Here's a huge field goal kick that's from Jasek Kooks. Jasek, number seven in the Twitch chat, just short. Again, putting your kicker in a bad position. You expect him to make a field goal from about oh. 900 yards away. <laughs> Tortorol. Yeah, uh, Jason is going to have beer thrown on him as he heads <laughs> to the tunnel today if they lose this game. That is not what you want to do. Kind of funny, best friend. The opportunity to put their name on the game and uh, just absolutely taking the L there. Neighbor, my neighbor <laughs> Tortorol. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Drop back by Justin Herbert. Throw to Austin Eckler is caught at midfield. That's a gain of three, second and seven. A minute and a half left here to go in Kansas City. All timeouts remaining for the Chargers as that pass is caught by number 87, Dylan Cyberbones, as they push forward. And this, this is coming down to the wire here, Dynamite. Yeah, this is a big moment here. No timeouts taken quite yet. We're going to run the quick no huddle offense here. And uh, the clock continues to chew. Justin Herbert got to do something here. Huge first down by the Chargers. Lots of good blocking as that pass is caught by number 81, Mike Williams. They will call a timeout. Smart and, timeout right there. Smart timeout. And you have a good kicker on your side with Lee Palera. you got to assume you're going to just try to inch a little bit closer, maybe get the kicker the positioning that he prefers, whether it's on the right or the left hash mark, as we have a run to the left stopped immediately for third and three Not as they call him the timeout right i i spoke with lee coach before the game and lee said i would prefer to be up by that 30 yard marker on the right hash currently on the left hash at about the 37 so this team needs to get a little bit as austin eckler is stuffed in the backfield and we're going to be kicking from about the 41. and this is going to be a gigantic kick and this is sort of the play calling that I don't love to see. They're, they're punting it. They're punting the ball. <laughs> they're is, not. What the is, fuck is happening? You got to be kidding me, Chargers. This is L.A. Chargers football, folks. You are playing so scared right now, Dynamite. How are you feeling out there? You ha Back in your playing days, if your coach is playing that scared to lose, that does not in any in any way gain uh, garner uh, confidence for your squad dynamite yeah coach that's one of those things the coach calls the play from the sideline and you just got to overrule that as players you got to call the audible just like we saw last week week number one our san francisco 49ers audible out of a two-point conversion and kick a, a kick a field goal for the extra point with nick Scarpino nick scarpino as the kicker that's the type of stuff you got to call on your own the, only, the reason I don't like that play call, I don't like all of the play calls leading up to that. You still have a timeout that you can use. You're having success with the short passes. You know that you can hit Eckler somewhere low in the field, somewhere in the middle would be Dylan Cyberbones. They called run, run, run. They tried to not lose the game, and that is plain scared, Dynamite. Yeah, and now we have to go to overtime here in Arrowhead. You're going to kick the ball over to KC. This is not where you want to be right now. You never want to be kicking the ball off to a dynamic offense like the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. Got to be thrilled that the Chargers just completely fucked that last minute. Oh, Holy man, cow. Yeah. 
getting some uh, flashbacks to last year AFC Championship against those Buffalo Bills overtime. Patty Mahomes and the squad stepped up. Of course, he's got a couple of new weapons here with, of course, Matt Cat 710 and their tight end Tyler Brando. So hopefully he can hit some of those weapons. But you got Travis Kelsey out on the field. You got Juju. You got Deep Eddie. Just so many people to go to here for KC. Third and seven for the Chiefs. And we got free football right here, Dynamite. As the overtime rules are, if you kick a field goal, the other team has a chance to score a touchdown. If you score first, it is game over. Fourth and three, it looks like the Chiefs may elect to punt in here. We'll see if they keep the offense out on the field to try to go for it on this fourth down conversion. You love to see him go for it, Coach. Show a little bit of confidence, a little bit of courage, because they have been mopping the floor with this L.A. Chargers defense all game long. Just as of late, the Chargers have really activated on the defensive side. But they're going to go to punt with our good friend Tommy Guns, Tommy Two Guns with the big leg. And here comes the punt. And if the Chargers kick a field goal and make it, they win the game. They score a touchdown, obviously. They win the game as well after the first drive. A field goal wins. Yeah. And the I think Chiefs... you and I can both agree, Coach. These, these overtime rules suck. Okay? They got to adopt would you prefer? the college. What would you prefer? Oh, they got to adopt the college overtime. I prefer to see everybody line up on Not the stop 20. Gunslinging. And we go back and forth. Yeah, let's let these guys play. Let's let okay. these old bodies just bash and break into each other for, <laughs> let's play for another football. two hours. <laughs> As Herbert throws the ball down the field, and that is caught for a second in three. As well, uh, as right right now, you got to be thinking. If I'm a Chargers fan, because I've seen these plays happen millions of times, that's a great catch by Dylan Cyberbones under pressure. As a Cowboys fan who deals with this a lot, you think to yourself, "We don't deserve to win this game." And as a Chargers fan, you got to be wondering, "Do we deserve to win this game?" Because you fumbled a lot of opportunities away, but they are pushing, Mike, and they are getting towards midfield. That's caught again by Dylan Cyberbones, and these are the plays that I was wondering. Where were these before the half ended? Where were all of these pass plays? There were so many run plays happening. A lot of timeouts being burned. Didn't understand the play call in there, but hopefully they're riding the ship right here. Yeah, they've really, really got going here in the second half. And this is what you like to see. Justin has really had himself a ball game in the second half of the game. And that is another great throw to Keenan Allen, who has had some great catches today. And Lee Polero in the chat right now says, put me in for that big field goal. Once again, we looked at the end of regulation, the chance to put Lee out there to ice this game. Regardless, you were going to go to overtime, and they punted away. Didn't even want to take the chance there for the win. Hopefully, they'll let him get out there and put the boot on it. Lee Polero, get off your fucking phone. I need you practicing. I need you practicing yeah. these kicks right now. And right now, if I'm the Chargers, I say just kick the field goal because you don't want to risk any more running back uh, runs that are losses of three and four and all those pile up. But it's second and two, a great pass on the right side of the field is Herbert drops Ooh, back. And here's a big wow. sack once again. This is something you cannot let happen to your squad as there's a huge sack on Justin Herbert. And again, the, the young quarterback just having a mental breakdown dynamite. Uh, big one there. And, of course, you can look to the old line, right? Slayer goes back to get shot up with some tortorol. <laughs> Doesn't seem like what they need. And, unfortunately, Justin Herbert, you got to get the ball out of your hands, kiddo. And that's exactly what I was talking about right there, Ernie Cooper. You need to just kick the field goal and go for it immediately. Because if you miss it, what's the big deal? You give the Chiefs the ball back just like you might. Might just end up here in a tie. We'll see what happens. Is Herbert has plenty of time to throw the ball. Oh. And also, if I'm Eckler, I'm, I'm running to the left side of the field. Again, you know, a beauty is, the yeah. eye, is in the eye of the holder, Mike. You have your uh, lead block on the left side of the field. You got to use it. I'm running left right there, and he turns into the inside of the field and gets tackled immediately. I'll tell you what, Coach. A lot of people talk about your playing days and how shifty and fast you were. You had the juke stick. You had that capabilities. Austin doesn't seem like that, but Lee Polero has the stick on him. Let's see if he's going to get it, but they're going to ice him out first. Chargers are going for the ice the kicker strategy right here. Try to get in his head a bit more. But Lee Polero is talking in Twitch chat. He does, he's not even distracted, not even phases. Here comes the game winning kick. That's going to be short. And that is going to be sh right. That is going to be wide right. Missed by the Chargers. 
And that oh. may have had the juice, Dynamite. Oh. It Almost had, the, had juice. the juice. Not the accuracy, though. And Casey's going to get the football here. And Lee Palero, get off your phone and start practicing on the sidelines because you might not get another opportunity. I just realized I didn't know what the overtime rules was. I thought I thought I thought once you go for a couple possessions, it's over. But the oh no, we put these old bodies on the line, coach. Each and every week, we're letting these people play. I feel like Donovan McNabb. That one time, he didn't even remember his uh, the overtime rules. <laughs> Second and eight for these Chiefs, and Herbert just really hurting the team right there. Matt Cat, you're absolutely right. What are you doing in Twitch chat? You know, focus on the game. You're, you're starting wide out right now as the Chiefs get the ball down to the 47 yard line, third and one. That's a big down right now. Deep Eddie's going to. Oh, oh. They're going to give him forward Maybe progress, gets, Dynamite. Wow. They give him forward Eddie. progress as there's a tackle by Nick Campfire from Campfire Designs. And that's a. That's a heartbreaker for Lee Palero thinking back to the last missed field goal because. That's going to go down as a miss on the stat sheet, but yeah. if Herbert doesn't take that that sack, you know, if you if I'm Herbert, I, I'm I'm chucking Lee Palero, you know, a little little 200 stack right there, just saying, hey, sorry, you're not gonna, you may not miss your or make your bonus incentives this year. Here's a, some money as we got That's two minutes me. left here in the OT. They're we at the 45 a yard great line. Game at KC. This is just game number one of our doubleheader. But man, oh man, we've had a lot of fun here tonight filling in and giving you the broadcast call. And a great run by Clyde Edwards. Alaire Deep Eddie getting to the 36 yard line. It's second and one. Another tackle by Nick Campfire. And it is getting down here once again. We've seen this before. Another first down wow. by Edwards Alaire getting down to the 30 yard line. And you are getting in prime kicking position for your kicker, Jasic, from the Twitch chat. This is another big moment here. KC really racking them up. But we've seen the LA Chargers defense step up occasionally. Let's see if they can get one here. But you would think Andy Reid and the squad are probably going to kick this and ice this game out. They stay on the field here at the 30 yard line. One timeout left. Another big handoff. Wow. Pushed again up to another first down. And if you're a Chargers fan, you are crying. You are yelling, you are throwing shit at your TV because you are just letting wide open runs happen. And here they go for the field goal. This is for the game. Jasic from Twitch chat. The kick is up and the kick is good, Perfect. Dynamite. The kick is good. Perfect. Your Chiefs end here with a win. They let the lead go. It was looking like it was going to be a massive comeback by the Chargers. And the Chiefs hold and stay true. And that's going to be your game, Dynamite. A uh, heartbreaking loss for the Chargers, who kept it close and brought it back. But really, here in the home field, you got to give all credit to Patty Mahomes and really Deep Eddie, who has played himself a game right there. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs, a solid win here at home in overtime. A fantastic, great game here in Kansas City. I saw Bruce Green out there. Forgot he was on the team. We're, we needed pressure from Bruce Green. Yes up in the middle of the defensive line. We didn't see a whole lot of that though, Dynamite, and that resulted in Patty Mahomes having a lot of time to pass the ball. 290 yeah. yards on the day with an 85 completion percentage. 85%, that's a great game from Patrick Mahomes. Justin Herbert throwing it all down the field with no touchdowns, 400 yards. That's one of those fantasy games that really pisses you off. You see your quarterback has 400 yards, you're jumping for joy, and you see no touchdowns, and you're releasing his ass the next week. And that's yeah. going to do it for our coverage today, Dynamite, as your Chiefs take down the Los Angeles Chargers 24-21 to here in KC. And we'll take a break, and we'll be right back for our coverage of the Niners versus Seahawks, your kind of funny broadcasting stations game of the week. <laughs> Will we do this for the NBA? Probably not. Yeah, the screen is supposed to be black. Yes, screen is supposed to be black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody type in the screen is black right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The screen is black. Everybody type it in chat. So we get to the second game. Hey, uh, Andy, Mike. Hey, what's going on, Greg? 
sorry. I just want to let you guys know the screen is actually black right now. There's you're not oh, showing good, anything good, 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 on good. Twitch right now. Just wow, we have we have a linebacker black. and co-owner. <laughs> Greg Miller, who's really good. There's going to be some really contentious uh, halftime interviews we can do with Johnny Ace, uh, co-owner and co-owner Greg Miller. I mean, what? I don't know if we're co-owners, are we? Is that how it's got to be? I have shocking news. I'm actually the triple crown over here because, yeah, I'm linebacker, co-owner, and I am Sourdough Sam. Sourdough Sam. What does that mean? You didn't know. <laughs> The 49ers that. mascot, you idiot. Go to a game in the city you live in. I'm sourdough Sam, wow. baby. Unbelievable. And those games, they're too far away, dude. Those teams are too it far is, away. Got it. You know, I remember when they did I was like, oh, Santa Clara 49ers. Yeah. And it's Mike too- Mitchell gets so mad at me. He gets so mad, and now the Bears are moving out of Chicago. And it's like, oh. KFBS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the KFFL. And here we are, Dynamite Mike Howard in sunny San Francisco. Not a cloud in sight. It's been foggy all weekend here in the Foggy Penny. And we are here to debut your home team. Kind of funny, 49ers. Quarterback Nick Scarpino and Andy Cortez looking to have more success. Follow up on that, and we have Joey Takagami and Blessing Adioye Jr. on the defensive side. There's only one helicopter today. Really, really getting cheap out here, Dynamite. Really yeah, getting cheap. Yeah, the co-owners are having a squabble out there about money and where they want to spend it. I hear Sourdough Sam, though, has gotten a costume upgrade. Oh, did he? Okay. And we just learned who Sourdough Sam was a little while ago. Um... And it's really exciting here, Dynamite, to be talking about our San Francisco 49ers. Where's your microphone, Mike? Do you have your mic? I'm ready to go, Sorry, did, Chad, did you all hear us? Sorry, we didn't have our mics. Uh, we didn't have our mics up. Uh, we're here in sunny San Francisco right now as we have the Seahawks visiting us here. And this is the Microsoft team. This is the team led by quarterback Phil Spencer, somebody who really knows how to get the whole squad going, get everybody on the same page. We have cornerback, defensive back, Sarah Bond. We have wide receiver, Jeff Rubenstein. We have so many people from the Xbox team, along with uh, a lot of kind of funny best friends, BJ Bernardo, Ricky Baltazar. We have Ryan Russell, Lyric Spencer, virtual Lyric. So many people are out here showing up in droves, and they're here to take on our San Francisco 49ers. How are you feeling today, Dynamite? Yeah, Coach, it's really, really exciting. And of course, we could hear you because you have three microphones on you right now, so we can hear everything you're saying at all times. That's but nice. uh, I That's will say, Coach, really exciting stuff. Of course, Phil Spencer has been lobbing shots all week long at his opponents, and I'm sure he's ready to lob one across the field for our 49ers. But we haven't left. It has been a long week of partying after our week one victory over the Chicago Bears. And we're looking forward to putting the smack down here on the Seahawks in beautiful sunny San Francisco. I'm happy to be outside, happy to be with you. And we're coming hot off of our doubleheader broadcast as well. We filled in earlier for the broadcast team over there. And now we're back here at home right where I want to be. A great job by the kind of funny fan base voting for your second game today, which is essentially the first game that you just watched between the Chargers and the Chiefs. That was not a whole lot of action at the beginning, and it got really hot towards the end. We're hoping that today's stays hot the whole time. Really excited to see how Nick Scarpino can follow up on last week's success. See how Greg Miller, linebacker and co-owner, can also do well, because last week he was getting to the quarterback a lot, Dynamite. Yeah, let's focus on the defense right now. Of course, that defense is led by gruesome Greggy in the middle there. But we also got to shine a light out on the DBs. Blessing out of Oye Jr. with a pick to start off the season. It has been really great in showing off his hands and great defensive skills there. So it's great to see the defense absolutely kicking off the season well. And, of course, putting the beat down on that Chicago Bears offense. 
and I see defensive tackle Joey Takagami in Twitch chat right now begging. Let's see another Nick Scarpino field goal attempt, which is something that all of social media and the sports landscape was buzzing about Dynamite. Yeah, that did show up on the Sports Center, not top 10 plays of the week, but we talked about that offense call, beating to their own drum, following their own ways there, and that's led by old man Nick Scarpino, actually the oldest rookie ever in NFL history here appearing on the sidelines. And of course, they have an incredible team out there on the offensive side. Andy Cortez has been an awesome wide receiver for Nick Scarpino. And then, of course, Ant-Man 208 has played terrific in the backfield in week one. We also have kind of funny best friend wide receiver Agustin Gonzalez coming in here at the fourth string, who will see a lot of action out on the field with how these offensive sets are run here in San Francisco. Uh, looking to have a huge day by Squid Banks once again. Cool Greg entering the field today after last week was out with a sprained ankle. Uh, was climbing some buildings, trying to do some graffiti, sprained his ankle. Uh, so he's looking uh, to make an impact out here in week one. And I'm really excited for this action, Dynamite. Um, I say we get started as I start to activate our uh, sponsored by Deep Eddie Vodka. <laughs> Deep Eddie, Deep Vodka. Eddie Vodka, super sim of the game as we uh, simulate the game forward and let's get to the kickoff dynamite. Remember to drink responsibly with Deep Eddie Vodka. Absolutely, and here's a kickoff to the Niners and blessing Eddie Oye will just uh, kneel for a touchback. And here comes this Niners offense. Very excited, a highly anticipated week two showing their fan base they got something worth cheering for here in week two as Nick Scarpino looking to continue last week's success. Yeah, coach, as you brought up last week, of course, to remind the fans out there, frozen in ice has been thawed out and returning to the gridiron. He has not seen the field of play since the 1968 season, and we're happy to have him out here. And he's shown his skills so far in sunny San Francisco. And there's a nice run to start off the game by Ant-Man Esquivel tackled at the line uh tackled at the 31 yard line gain of six tackled by christopher rodriguez left end for the uh for the seahawks yeah we'll keep an eye on this seahawks defense of course as you brought up this is the microsoft squad from seattle you have sarah bond out at uh cornerback along with virtual lyric to keep an eye out there and of course ryan russell holding down the middle at middle linebacker. 100% dynamite. A lot of kind of funny best friends wanting to play on the Seattle squad as that's a nice catch for 13 by Debo Samuel. And we're already at midfield and these Niners are starting off hot. And there's a big run up the middle by Ant-Man, a gain of nine, second and one as we are now on the Seahawks out of the field at the 46 yard line. Scarpino, another handoff to Ant-Man and that is tackled by number 30, Sarah Bond. First and 10, these Niners look like they haven't taken a week off, much like these crowd, crowd hasn't either, Dynamite. Yeah. They've been going since last week, so has this offense. Crowd has been pounding deep Eddie Vodka all week long. We have been tailgating since the party and that victory, and we're gonna continue on here. Concessions really had a tough week here, <laughs> Coach. I'll tell you what, we had a lot of hot dog shipments in here, and it was a lot of unpacking and trying to get those dogs cooking for the fans. Absolutely, as there's a roughing the passer on the defense. So we see Christopher Rodriguez hitting Nick Scarpino, maybe not a big fan of KFAF being canceled. Either mm, way, yes. that's going to be a first down for the Niners, and you cannot do that against this Niners offense. They are too good for you to mess up and give them any advantages. We have a catch here by Andy Cortez for a gain of six yards, second and four for the Niners. Again, this offense is so potent, so, uh, so you know, violent and so um, dynamic as we have a pass here to Ant-Man. You cannot get defensive penalties. You can't give them any more chances that they already give themselves, Dynamite. Yeah, I was actually talking with Andy Cortez, the Nitro Rifle, before the game. He tells me he takes one pill of Viagra every single day before the game to keep up the explosiveness. I was blown away by that comment. I heard that too. I heard that too. I wasn't sure if that was a rumor or not, but it's really yes. interesting to get that confirmed here in the air. Uh, getting that third leg for balance out there on the run. 
as we get to the first and goal yard line. So that's a pass caught by Brandon Ayuk. So we see these wide receivers out here trying to look for people to block, but there ain't anybody over there. That's going to be a first and first and goal. A really terrific. I'll think of, uh, I'll think first, of some facts later session. for uh, snow bike Michael Howard in the defensive <laughs> backfield. <laughs> There's a tackle by number 93, Christopher Rodriguez on Ant-Man. Second and goal for yeah. these uh, Niners. And again, this offense just really tricky and they are going to find ways to score on you no matter what sort of defense you're playing. <laughs> we got a wild crew here in San Francisco and we've been having some fun. We, we got the laughter, we got the giggles. It's been a long week partying, but of course a great first possession here. I'll tell you what, Ant-Man going looking to break the 100 yards on this possession. It's a third and goal. Uh, for the Niners as Scarpino throws it out the end zone. Third and goal, Scarpino surveys the field, throws left, and that is caught by number 83, Agustin Gonzalez. <laughs> That's a touchdown, Niners. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a touchdown. They kicked the field goal. I thought that was a touchdown to Agustin Gonzalez, and instead Tim Geddes kicks the field goal to go up three to zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people right now in the chat, of course, watching live on the broadcast, talking about Andy Cortez's stiff leg. Uh, he got me right there. <laughs> this is a kickoff to, to number 80, uh, brought back by number 80, Jeff Rubenstein. Seahawks come and take the field, and quarterback Phil Spencer looking to command this offense. 267 yards last week. I got an energy drink all over my glasses, Dynamite. Luckily, they're not real. They're just blue light canceled, and I think I look cool with them. There you go. You look very cool, cool with them, Coach. Thank you. Of course, Thank you. all eyes right now on P3. We're looking at the head of this Seahawks offense, and he's going to hand it off first round over there to Kenneth Walker the third. But when we talk about Phil Spencer, like I said earlier, all week long, taking shots at his opponents, talking about Sony, and they're just insane business practices. And I think he's going to do the same here, taking shots at this San Francisco squad. Absolutely, as that's going to be a pass completed for a first down of DK Metcalf, the new Megatron. We'll call him Cybertron out there in yes. the backfield. A massive man. And uh, I had some trip. Uh, I was a little bit trepidatious about giving Phil Spencer the number three because of P3. And I knew that mm. Russell Wilson was number three. And maybe that might offend Seahawks fans, but it turns out everybody hates that motherfucker. Nobody everybody hates him. Nobody liked Russell Wilson when he was there. I saw some great tweets from uh, Richard Sherman. Um, if you had, if you saw those tweets yesterday, Dynamite, some tweets shit talking from Richard Sherman about Russell Wilson. Uh, really, really funny stuff out there. So I said, you know what? I'll give Phil Spencer number three. He deserves it. Here's yeah. a quarterback that this fan base can get behind. A quarterback that isn't going to throw the rest of his teammates under the bus as it's fourth and six. Yeah. Great stop by the And that's Joey Niners. right there with a great read on this screenplay to keep these Seahawks back. And that's going to force them to punt here in their first possession. But yeah, that was a conversation heading in to the new season. You lose Russell Westbrook in the backfield. You grab Drew Locke from the Broncos. But thankfully... Phil Spencer steps up, says, you know what, I'm going to put the controller down and I'm going to toss the pigskin and hopefully they can get going because our San Francisco 49ers put the stop to that possession right there and they're back on the field, hopefully looking to score a touchdown this time. They sure are as they get back on the field. I thought they had a touchdown last time, but we were laughing about we were laughing about that third leg out there just wobbling and dangling all over the field as Scarpino drops back throws right that's going to be caught by Debo Samuel on the sideline that is not caught my mistake he went out of bounds five of nine on the day for Scarpino so far not the best start second and ten for these Niners as he's a big rush up the middle mm -hmm. by Ant-Man and he gets stuffed by the linebackers there third and four you don't want to go three and out this quickly you want to give the defense some time to rest and here goes Scarpino deep left that's going to be caught by Brandon Ayuk great find for a yeah. first down up to the 46 yard line. 
And that's what they can do. They can get you to third down. They can give your defense some hope that you're going to get the ball back for your offense. And they immediately strike. And that's going to be a first down for these Niners. And, uh, and we're we got seeing Nick Scarpino warm Carroll. it up right now. I think this sunshine here in sunny San Francisco is really doing him a favor. Of course, last week, raining in Chicago, the windy city became the rainy city. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Nick Scarpino plays much better in the nice temps here in the Bay Area. Pete Carroll, one of those sneaky old looking dudes. You think he's younger because of his, you know, obviously he's had white hair his whole life. So you're mm -hmm. like, oh, he's probably mm -hmm. super old, but then he's just got this young jubilance to him. But then you find out yes. he's really 94 years old. And that really kind of oh. throws you for a loop dynamite. It's third and inches here on the 45 yard line. Handoff to Ant-Man. That's going to be a first down for a gain of five. Yeah, talking about Pete Carroll, he's got that look to him. Like he could pull the Urban Meyer where he shows up at some college bar and starts grinding up on some young chick. And yeah. you're like, you got to go home, old man. You got to go home. Uh, a bar owned by him, by the way. <laughs> of course. Not the of best course. Not the best move to have a easily videotaped <laughs> footage <laughs> of a young college hottie sitting on your lap grinding on you. Not the best look for the man. Our prayers to his family. <laughs> Scarpino drops back throw up the middle. That's caught by Brandon Ayuk for a gain of seven as this offense marches down the field, Dynamite. This offense is on fire right now. Very fast-paced gameplay right now as we have two minutes left in the first. And Nick Scarpino has been just hucking the rock all over, finding every target he wants. This Seattle defense is nowhere to be found. Well, I let this controller sit too long. <laughs> the screen went dark there for a second. Uh, and I'm really surprised by the resilience of this offense because immediately when you start to think there may be a slowdown, they find a way to pull through. And right now, this offensive line blocking really well for Scarpino. Yeah, the offensive line being held down right now by Roger and Kevin Coelho. This is exactly what you want to see from the big two for the company right now. Picorni, he's got the juice. Oh, Picorni. <laughs> Let me tell you some stories about this jabroni Let out there. He's it. been partying hard all it. week long. We have gone to the same restaurant for the past three nights in a row. What the uh, fuck? Why? We don't know anywhere in this town, but we're figuring it out together, folks. Lovely. Third and four for these Niners. Scarpino drops back, throws down the middle, and that is, again, this coverage. Just like Twitch chat mentions, this coverage is soft. And you know what will make this coverage hard and me hard? Some Twitch Prime subs, everybody. So gift wow. out them subscriptions right now. It's September, everybody. If you have been gifted a sub, remember that you can continue that gifted sub at a extreme discount or you could subscribe for six months in advance. Instead of paying 30 something bucks, you pay $25. As Scarpino drops back, throws right over so the wide receiver, Debo Samuel. You are so right, coach. Let's say fuck the blue pill and let's take that purple pill, the exactly. Twitch pill. Don't be afraid to subscribe and help support your San Francisco 49ers. As Ant-Man gets stopped, third and goal. And we head into the second quarter, Dynamite. And I heard that you had a, you, you got some news there out, out there on the sideline, Dynamite, and I'd like to like to hear all about it. Yeah, I have some news for you right now. Talked with wide receiver Andy Cortez, yeah. the Nitro Rifle. He gave me half of a blue pill, Holy and we are shit. both about to explode together, having a great oh time. But that is going to be the focus here. I talked with the offense. I talked with Nick Scarpino, and he says Andy Cortez's explosiveness off the line, just how he's cranked up and real firmed up the offense. Oh. We've just been sticking with it. And uh, he is my player to watch today. A lot of verbs and adjectives out there, Dynamite. Is anybody, uh, a, or is there anybody in the crowd trying to chastise you for not wearing a red uh, turtleneck or a red anything to kind of match with your team? Do they think that you're a part of the Seahawks? Oh, yes, 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 yes. This was actually red when we started it off. I've been spray painted by a number of San Francisco 49ers Holy faithful shit. with silver. Uh, it's a Mad Max situation Holy out fuck. here. It's a silver drug. Oh We've been hopped God. up on it all week. I think it's some sort of hallucinogen. We're having a great time on the sidelines there, Coach. What if I told you that you're not actually on the field? <laughs> you are just so fucking cranked up. Let's switch back to the picture-in-picture uh, -picture mode, and we will get back to the game dynamite 
Uh, maybe I leave you out there a little bit longer just to see what happens. <laughs> let, let me walk off this blue pill yeah. right now, here, Coach. Let me walk it off. See you later, Dynamite. As we'll sim forward to the game and the second quarter begins here. Scarpino, for third and goal for these Niners. Drops back, throws in the middle. That's a touchdown by Debo Samuel. And the Niners are on the board. Love seeing that production by this offense. Yeah, that is an incredible start right now. We've seen this offense really firing on all cylinders. And Seattle has no answer for this at all, Coach. What do you think they need to do on the defensive side to maybe slow down our incredible 49ers offense? I think getting pressure to the quarterback is the number one thing you have to do. Right now, Scarpino has had all day to just look at the field and try to get somebody open as we have five gifted subs from Huggy Leg. Yes, Huggy Leg looking to get the third leg. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking... <laughs> waiting for it. There's a kickoff. It's caught in the end zone by Jeff Rubenstein as this Xbox squad looks to come out here and try to have some sort of answer. They have some weapons to throw to Dynamite. You have wide receiver Jeff Rubenstein. You have tight end Matt Booty. You know I had to name the tight end Matt yes. Booty. Mm -hmm. You have Matt tight Booty. end Chance Carter as well. It's for chances we have a handoff here to number nine, Kenneth Walker the third. Yeah, Matt Booty and Phil Spencer continue to reiterate and promise that the touchdowns will come, but it has been a very dry year slash generation slash previous generation here in Seattle and we just question will they actually come is the worry here and here's a first down to Kenneth Walker once again and you're right about that dynamite this 2022 <laughs> season had a lot of expectations and lots of delays have led to lots of disappointments yes yes and maybe uh, we'll, we'll get maybe we'll get fable three next year <laughs> who fucking knows <laughs> and here's a pass from uh, spencer out to number 20 that's philip espinosa gym leader phil in the twitch chat getting his first reception on the day for a gain of six second and four for the seahawks seahawks looking to get something started maybe a small piece of dlc will do us well but of course when I look around, I go, give Jeff Rubenstein the rock here. Phil Spencer has not gone to the air that many times to start off this game, really relying on the run game. And, oh, wow, shakes off a tackler and almost gets a first down there from Big Walker the third. Fantastic spin from Kenneth Walker the third to spin out of that tackle and push that one or two-yard gain to a nine-yard gain. It's second and one. And if I had Phil Spencer right here, I'd ask him, why aren't you passing to Jeff Rubenstein mm -hmm. and and what happened to Everwild? Like, what, what's yes. the deal with that is what I'd be asking. As, as he answers our prayers right there, that's a catch by Jeff Rubenstein. That's going to be a first down for the Seahawks. Yes, uh, surprisingly absent today, of course, Larry Herb, Major Nelson out there. He's on the podcast circuit this week and did not want to show up to San Francisco. Says he actually hates San Francisco, so uh, won't be returning wow. Actually, in a in a contract dispute, I heard as well, looking to get an extension mm -hmm. from that Microsoft team. That's going to be a first down for the Seahawks as quarterback Phil Spencer looking to continue to threaten this squad as we get a big rush up the middle. It's a running back screen to Kenneth Walker, and that's that's read pretty well right there by that Niners defense. They read it all the way. Gain of three, second and seven here at the 20-yard line. Spencer drops back. Throws to the right, and that's going to be oh. in the outstretched arms of Kenneth Walker the third. Third and seven here for the Seahawks. Just a little out of reach right there, but they are knocking on the door, getting towards the red zone right now. Let's see if they can get this first. This is going to be very important to kick this off, especially as we continue to tick away on the clock and head towards half. He's going to huck one up, and uh, that is nowhere to be found. Great blocking by that squad as well and just threw up a prayer to nobody. That was defended by cool Greg Geddes. And the field goal by the Seahawks is good. It's going to be 10 to 3 as the Niners try to get back on the board. We talk about the impact that cool Greg has had on this defense. He brings a lot of size and tenacity to that defensive backcourt. Yeah, a lot of swagger as well. A lot of narcs on this team. And Cool Greg has really calmed them down and gotten them a lot more cool. 
little more drippy, as the kids say, as opposed to just being a bunch of squares. There's been a lot of moments I've heard, a lot of rumblings in the locker room where one player might say like, oh, so-and-so's juicing up. Should we, like, hey, coach, so-and-so. And then Cool Greg will put him in line and say, nobody narks. We do. We never nark on this squad. As that's going to be a first down to Andy Cortez, a gain of 13 yards yeah. down the Andy middle. Andy Cortez, tough to get down right there. Uh, just pushing past this defense, looking really great. And this Niners squad looking to get another score in here in the first half. Seven and a half to go here at the 35 yard line. This Seahawks defense wondering how do we stop this passing attack? Because here's a big run up oh. the middle for a gain of eight by Ant Man. And that's what this Niners offense will do. They'll make you put a lot of people back up in coverage and they'll just hand the ball off and have a lot of open field to run through. As that's another first down by this Niners squad here to the 49 yard line, first and 10 for the Ant -Man. Niners. Ant-Man having himself a nice little ball game to kick off the first half. And, of course, this is what we talked about, Coach, at the beginning of the pregame. Just this three-headed dragon, this beast they have to take on here on the offense between the Nitro Rifle, Nick Scarpino, and Ant-Man 0208. As we take a look in on the defense, they're talking. They got to be pumped up a good first half so far from our defense as well. First and 10 for the Niners. Scarpino throws left to Wide Andy open. Cortez, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Nitro Rifle. Getting locked and loaded here in the end zone. And that's the sort of explosion you expect to yeah. see from some really stiff competition out there. Really stiff. That's the climax we were looking for. We've worked really hard for fucking it. Shit. We've put a whole, whole lot of fucking touches on this one. And we got it, folks. Jesus Christ, that's going to be a great pass from Scarpino to Cortez. And after all the simulations I've run and I've seen so many times that the Seahawks come in here to Seattle or to San Francisco rather and just put it to us right now. The Niners making a statement. It is 17 to three. Can the Seahawks make any sort of responses? Gettys yeah. kicks off. Tim Gettys kicks off to Jeff Rubenstein. Jeff Rubenstein stopped at the 23 yard line. Just a an incredible human being. Six foot nine, looking over the opponents. A great run out there. And P3, Phil Spencer looking again to get back out here. He's got to lead this team down and get a touchdown here as they desperately need something, some sort of exclusive to help save their fan base. And he's got the talent to do so. Currently, Phil Spencer is an 87 overall quarterback. He's got the weapons around him, may just not be on the same page, or it could just be this hostile environment. That's gonna be a first down to DK Metcalf down to the 44 yard line. And that's sort of the movement you hope to see. Eight of 11 so far, 74 yards passing. That's Metcalf's second catch of the day, Dynamite. Yeah, we look at DK Metcalf and Phil Spencer. He continues to go back to his tried and true formula. Halo, Halo, Halo. Does he have anything else in the tank? When will other weapons open up and come save this team? Waiting for a vowed. Hoping to see some some bit of that, not just a CG trailer. But that's gonna be a run up the middle, stopped early, second and nine. And that tackle earlier on DK Madcalf was number 23, Snowbike Michael Howard. And yeah, great see to see Snowbike out there. Another tackle here by number 32, Andre Pondre. Pondre at Twitch Chatter, mm. getting some action. Third and two for these Seahawks. And here's a handoff to Kenneth Woo! Walker, the third, and he's gonna get forward progression. That's gonna be a first down Seahawks. Not a whole lot of production out here so far for this running game, but they're getting it done when it needs to get done. That is exactly what you need. You need that Ant-Man 0208 for you as, of course, this is Walker, the third for the Seahawks. But you got to get some production here in the run game and then take it to the air. You go with the old faithful. You follow the tried and true formula. And then you hit it with something special, something spicy for deep. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Spencer hands off to Kenneth Walker, and that is stopped immediately by Joey Takagami. Joey looking to make a big statement out here on this defense, wanting to command that big contract. Yeah, two big tackles for a loss. 
from Joey. She actually, surprisingly enough, Coach, I don't know if you know, was dominant in the wrestling world. One of the world's number one so? entertainment leads in the no WWE shit. said, you know what, I'm going to hang Holy up my boots and I'm going over to put on some pleats and play football. Very incredible to see her be able to transition between two sports like that. And we have a nice half halfback screen again to Kenneth Walker the third. Third and five for the Seahawks. Can they get a first down and continue this drive? Spencer throws out right. And I don't think Ooh. he, I don't know if he was in bounds, Dynamite. They're calling that a first down. I'm not sure if you got both feet down. Let's see the instant replay right here. Hopefully we can get a good view on this. Two feet down. Ooh. I, Ooh. I think those heels may have been out of bounds, Dynamite. Oh, oh, might want to challenge that. Might want to throw the challenge flag out. And San Francisco not going to do that. They're keeping that red flag in the pocket as Coach Austin Creed decides not to challenge that. Here's a fake handoff play action pass. Spencer throws left over the head mm. of Kenneth Walker the third, and these wide receivers are having trouble getting open with this really tough defense. Joey Noel in chat says, maybe I'll try hockey next. With your luck, anything can happen, Joe. And that's going to be a run by Kenneth Walker, a decent run of five yards, third and five for these Seahawks, trying to get something before halftime hits. But knowing Madden, there will be some sort of fumble or interception. Some <laughs> knowing this crazy game, shenanigans will happen. Is right. Spencer throws right to Jeff Rubenstein as he's going to be stopped early. Fourth and two Shut for the down. Seahawks. Do you go for it right here, Dynamite? Do you try to get a touchdown on the board before halftime begins? And uh, they're yeah. going for it. You got to go for it right here, Coach. And we're going to see that. Let's see if P3 can answer. It's something special. This is a must-have. Not a whole lot of people, but Thrones left. And that is intercepted oh! by the free safety ward. Interception at the 30-yard line. Could have been a first down if you just threw it on target, but Phil Spencer was I in the wrong date and threw it to a different section and uh, this touchdown is going to get delayed dynamite yeah they they said that was put in ink they had it written in pen and unfortunately we have found the whiteout for that one because we're putting that on a new date a great pick once again the defense two weeks in a row with a takeaway and Nick Scarpino and the squad able now to put another touchdown up before the end of the half and this could be another blowout just like we saw in Chicago it sure can be I hope it is and I want something exciting to root for dynamite of course we want our squad to win yes. but no matter what I do with these goddamn sliders what did I tell you interceptions are bound to happen in this Madden game and I've been messing around a lot with these sliders trying to make these uh <laughs> these games a bit more realistic just seems like there's a fumble on every play as scarpino drops back at second and four throws right tackled immediately for a first down debo samuel gets taken down by number 21 i believe not even on the roster right here dynamite yeah they're going deep into the depth chart the starters are just not answering the call for team xbox so they got to go really deep into the duffy maybe it hits you with a pentiment maybe it hits you with the psychonauts because they just don't got the big titles the big hitters the big names that we need right now and the niners take a timeout they have one remaining one minute left here in the first half who got the first uh, the niners get the ball the, the game started who got who got the ball yeah, you know what? I was so cranked up off this little blue pill that I don't remember what happened you took one too. in the first quarter. Oh, yeah, I, I, took one too. My I was in the back room with uh, the nitro rifle. <laughs> he offered me one. He said, you'll be more explosive on the commentary. I said, hell yeah, Holy brother. Cow. So I'm in. Oh, my God. We got drug dealers on this squad. <laughs> <laughs> Illegal Firmed up with you up here. And that is a first down to Debo Samuel. The tackle by Lyric Virtual Spencer. Here we go with the uh, Scarpino drops back. Probably going to throw left. No, he's going to throw right over oh. the head of Andy Cortez. A great defensive play by Lyric Spencer. Lyric Spencer has been all over Andy Cortez today so far. Has not had a huge amount of production aside from that big touchdown. Here's a handoff or a, a pass left to Ant-Man. Gain of seven, right third and three. One timeout <laughs> remaining. You got to save that timeout so that you can hopefully kick a field goal if you don't get the first down. And that's going to be a first down to number 11, Brandon Ayuk. 
Brandon Ayuk feeling good out there. First down, 15 seconds to go. Yeah. As it looks like they're just going to let the clock run out. They might just out. kick the field goal. Or they have time to maybe go for one more pass. Hopefully not get intercepted. Can bring out big Tim Geddes with the boot right now. Number 69. Let's see if he can ice this field goal. Tim, the lower limb Geddes. The kick is up and the kick is good. 20 to 3. Your Niners are up at halftime. And the Seahawks are just stunned. Seahawks hope to come in here, make some sort of statement, and so far, it's just been a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, they had a really great 2021. They thought 2022 was going to be their year. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to wait to the 2023 season for this team to answer. Maybe they have a surprise hit for us here in the second half of this game, but it just doesn't feel like that as Phil Spencer and the team are going to take a knee with one second left here in the first half. Get into the locker room, try to rally these troops once again, Dynamite. You got to figure out something if you're this squad. And Nick Scarpino feeling great as this squad goes into halftime. Your Niners are up 20 to 3 here on the Kind of Funny Broadcasting Station. We're brought to you by the KFBS and twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games. And let's take a look around the league, Dynamite. See what else action, what other actions happening in the NFL as we go to Las Vegas, where the Cardinals are taking on the Raiders. And Jeff Grubb, three touchdowns on the day so far, 194 yards. Imran Khan, 99 yards with a touchdown receiving. And uh, Hopkins, 31 yards receiving. Kyler Murray, not doing too great again. The Call of Duty beta is out. Mm -hmm. Can't expect a whole lot of productivity. The Broncos are up 24 to 7 against the Texans. Russell Wilson with a touchdown. Jerry Judy with a touchdown as well. We have no best friends playing on the Texans, so we don't really give a damn about that. But in Baltimore, see how the Dolphins are faring. They lost 24 to 21. Tough. Boda J with 128 yards throw and not a whole lot of production there, unfortunately. 30, 24 to 21, rather. And we'll see... Uh, We'll see what these Seahawks can do in the second half here, Dynamite. Because so far, yeah, get your microphone ready, Mike, so we have the right uh, plug-ins. <laughs> um, so far, I'm loving what I'm seeing from these Niners. I thought we'd see a lot more from the Seahawks squad. I expected a lot of explosion. I thought Phil Spencer was going to come out here and say, Game Pass, uh, deals of the day, Xbox Gold, and all these sort of deals. And so far, a lot of them have been falling flat, unfortunately. Yeah, you're so right. I mean, when we look over on the Seattle Seahawks team right now, we were promised a lot. We have been under-delivered right now, and we still await the triumphant return or maybe just the showcase of Hideo Kojima. Maybe he'll show up for this game. Really? I don't think he will, though, unfortunately. That's probably a 2026 acquisition. But when we look over on the opposite side, Coach, I mean, it has been San Francisco all day long. We're riding the high off of that SmackDown in Chicago. And this team is just firing it on all cylinders. Nick Scarpino is making the reads. He's making the plays. And he has shown you that a 47-year-old old man with a limp back and a limp dick can still Jesus. get it done. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Taking some personal shots here, Dynamite. Holy yeah. shit. I didn't know you all had uh, some personal issues there, Dan. I hope you all sort of iron out those problems uh, because we're all on the same <laughs> team here. We're all on the same team here. <laughs> And then nope, and you know there's no issues with erectile dysfunction. Is it happens to the best of us, everybody? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, but I understand. I understand what happens, Dynamite. You get lost in the sauce sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the words start flowing, and you just get lost in it. But let's head back out to the game as we'll check out what these Seahawks can do as they receive the ball in the start of the second half. <laughs> you know, you know, coach, I got to take a moment. I got to apologize to the audience. I got to apologize to the, the families watching out there. Yeah. I, it, it went a little personal there. It went a little yeah. personal. Me and Nick Scarpino have been beefing in the back end. Uh, Johnny Ace, the co-owner, along with Greg Miller, they had to bring us all together. And uh, I, I'd like meeting. to issue an apology wow. to uh, Nick Scarpino out there for calling him a limb dick Sally over there. Okay, that's my bad. I didn't know there'd be this much drama between the broadcaster and the and the quarterback of the team. 
As the Seahawks are second and four right here, they run to the left with Kenneth Walker the third. That's going to be third and one for the Seahawks. Can they start this drive early? <laughs> And Castellanos hits a deep fly to left field. And here's a pass to the right. That's going to be caught by number 16, Tyler Lockett. Have not seen much of Lockett out there yet today. He's been locked down, Dynamite. Yeah, we have not seen much here on the receiving core besides DJ, DK Metcalf. And oh man, the defense just busts right through there. And P3 unable to deliver on that pass. Looks like they were going to try for a halfback screen there. We have a pass out left to KW3. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's third and four right here for these Seahawks. And you've seen a lot of Fred Warner out there as well on the defensive side. And he's one of the Niners stars, middle linebacker. That's going to be a catch. First down to Tyler Lockett. First and 10 here at the 45 yard line. Let's see if. Phil Spencer can string along a couple of a uh, couple of plays here as he gets tackled and the ball's thrown out of bounds over the head of tight end Matt Booty. Another player who's been sort of invisible on this offense so far, Dynamite. Yeah, a lot of people say he gets a lot of things done in the background, but people want to see more production out of him. And today it has not been his day as Phil Spencer has really struggled. One INT already on the game, and uh, we'll see if he can answer the call. And that, oh, that, that was oh. nearly intercepted by Fred Warner. Wow. I was about to jump out of my seat and call the interception, but that's going to be a pass completed to tight end Matt Booty. Good Lord, I thought Fred Warner jumped that route, and that's going to be a tackle by Fred Warner again, always on the field, all over the place. That's going to be second and eight for the Seahawks. Now, of course, you remember in our first game of our doubleheader, we did see a comeback from one of those L.A. Chargers in the second half. Maybe we can get something like that here with the Seattle Seahawks going on right now. They are knocking on the door, heading towards the red zone of the 49ers. Spencer throws up the middle, and they get the first down. That's to gym leader Phil, Philip Espinosa, kind of funny best friend. Looked like he was going to be stopped short of the first down yard marker, and he pushes forward. Keep the feet pumping, Dynamite. Yeah, gym leader Phil finally showing up, and he had a big one here, shrugging off a tackle. That's impressive. That's a great play right there. That's just sheer will, and I haven't seen this camera. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we are we are zooming in right now on Burks absolutely getting truck sticks for no so apparent good. reason. <laughs> this cameraman and broadcasting crew just really showing off their new plugins they downloaded over the weekend. It's first and 10 for the Seahawks at the 22-yard line. Spencer drops back, throws down the middle, caught by... That's going to be Jeff Rubenstein for a gain of five. It looks like is again, another route that looked like it was going to be cut off early, and it pushes forward for a gain of five, making something out of nothing. It's the handoff, huge handoff wow. to Kenneth Walker. There. That's a big run play right there. With so many successful passes, the defense is sitting back expecting to pass, and there goes a nice run up the middle. When the linebackers are out there covering the wide receivers, that means that the middle of the field is left wide open, and there goes Kenneth Walker for a nice run. Yeah, beautiful little trick play right there. Phil Spencer got you thinking they're going one way, but they're going to hit the ground. And Kenneth Walker having himself a nice little game right now, very similar to what we saw from Austin Eckler in game number one, that L.A. Chargers running back. Let's see what they can do here now in the 10. Spencer throws right. And that Whoa. seems to be a touchdown by DK Metcalf. Touchdown on the right side of the of the end zone. Huge throw, better catch, keeping both feet down. That's exactly how you hope to see that pitch and catch happen, Dynamite. That's just a dot right there. And it's as if our strong safety snow bike, Mike, maybe been about a half step slow. We might need to check on him because I hear he might be smoking a little too much grass there, Andy Cortez slowing him down. Yeah, we do know that uh, smoking weed in the locker room and on the sidelines is now legal here in the KFFL. And they oh, are wow. reviewing it. They're going to see if this is actually a touchdown. He may not have gotten both toes down. I thought he did, but that right toe may have slid right over. Got to have 10 toes down, and Snowbike Mike might be getting blessed right here on the lack of coverage. Let's see what happens here. Let me see what the referees are going to say here in midfield. And they're calling that a touchdown. The play stands. That's a touchdown for the Seahawks as the K 
kicker Jason Myers goes for the point after, and that's good. 20 to 10 here in San Francisco. And a great start to the first half by the Seahawks, taking a lot of time off the clock. Getting that defense tired is the most important thing, Dynamite. You stay on the field for at least six and a half minutes, and you you got to hope that the offense stays out there even longer if you're... The de and that's uh -oh. a fumble, fumble on the play, and that is recovered by Blessing once again. Oh, that's recovered no. by, by the Seahawks. Seattle here, a big moment right there. Big truck stick. Blessing probably should have taken the knee, but tries to go the extra mile, and he's going to cough up the fumble. And the crowd looking absolutely depressed as we see a lot of, uh, I guess, sets of twins in the crowd. Everybody looks the same up there. <laughs> a lot of twins here. A lot of twins. When we were partying, I couldn't tell who it's, was who out there. It's twins night here in, uh, here in San Francisco. Bring a twin, and a twin comes in for free. And uh, a huge fumble by Blessing Adioye Jr. You hate to see that as the future class of video games becoming the current ass of football. Yes. And it's yes. 20 to 10. And the Seahawks are threatening once again. And maybe I got to be careful what I wish for. Maybe I don't want a close game. It is third and three here by these Seahawks. Yeah, this is a big moment right now. Once again, into the red zone here, back to back. And as you said, that defense for those 49ers getting tired. Already worked half of the quarter to kick off the second half. And now back out again. And they got to clutch up in the red zone here as P3 in the squad look to get one more up and make this a three-point game. That's a nice pass and catch to Matt Booty, the tight end getting that first down for the Seahawks. It's first and goal at the nine yard line. These Seahawks are threatening to get another score here. Spencer drops back, Phil throws down right. And Again. this is the same exact play to DK Metcalf. This defense, they decided to pitch to play, call the same fucking play. Are you kidding me, Dynamite? Wow, and this time, Blessing out of Yoye Jr. not there on the defense. You thought the coverage would have read it twice, but a great post route and a great corner drop. Ten toes down again for DK Metcalf. Unbelievable play call. That is such a brave play call by this offensive squad here for the Seahawks. They call the same play knowing that DK Metcalf, you can't cover the man that long. And... It's quickly become a game here, Dynamite. We have ourselves a game here in Santa Clara, and uh, now we have to question, yo, what is going on with this San Francisco defense? Seems to be a half step slow, cannot stop the run game, and the coverage just breaking down because of that on the pass side. And Nick Scarpino and the squad here on the offensive side need to get this ball back. Let's see if Blessing takes a knee this time, and he does. A very smart move after that fumble on the last kickoff return. Absolutely dynamite. And for a while there, I thought our broadcasting crew, with, when they had that really cool spin around shot, yeah. that matrix shot, I thought they were playing with an instant replay tool. I thought we were watching the same touchdown score from last time. Just happened to be the exact same play against a different Niner defender. As this, mm -hmm. Here's a pass with Scarpino to the right to George Kittle. That's caught for a gain of five. As Scarpino says, give me a shot. Let me have the ball, and I'll see what I can do with this offense. Yeah, he's had himself a really terrific game. It is great to see Scarpino working. Nice to see Kittle, the you know, just kind of the safety release, that security blanket for him, finally get a touch right now. And let's see what Nick and the squad can do here on second down. We'll see. Hope this is some big blocking up front by Kevin Coelho. Uh -oh. That's a massive play Whoa! by a big truck stick by Atman in the middle of the field. That's a gain of about 20, 10 rushing yards on the day for 65 yards. Massive blocking up front. You see Kevin Coelho and Daniel Bruns kill Jonathan Aguirre. Kind of funny best friend also getting in the action as Ant-Man takes advantage of that wide gaping wet hole <laughs> just diving Woo. right through there holy oh, cow so slippery right there oh that is ant-man right there getting wet and getting through the hole and uh pounding the hole really on this running game right now again going to him we're going to get off on three yards there but man ant-man having himself a game let's see if tonight he can break through that hundred yards rushing last week had 88 looking to crack triple digits this week. And but we're back to Andy Cortez. Big play and catch Andy Cortez who brushes off two defenders and gets tackled at a 24 yard line. Chucks the ball and says, let's fucking keep doing this. I can do this all day. 
He's so up right now. Four receptions, 94 yards, looking to get into 100 here on this next reception. And that's just the connection Nick Scarpino and Andy Cortez have. One can read, the other one can catch it and just know what to do with it. Virtual Lyric Spencer went up for the tackle and Cortez said, get the fuck off of me. <laughs> right? mm -hmm, just get mm -hmm. the fuck off to the side as I'm going to continue to get some yak that yards after catch. Here's a pitch and catch of Debo Samuel. That's going to be a gain of six. Scarpino having a day, 24 of 30, 243 yards, two touchdowns. Scarpino drops back, surveys the field, throws left, and he's just going to throw it away as nobody was open downfield. Maybe a busted play here at the 18-yard line. It's third and four. Maybe the Seahawks come up with a big stop. Scarpino yeah. throws right, wide open to George Kittle. And they're going to say he did not get the first wow, down. Wow, fourth the, and inches. The ball may not have crossed the first down marker. Coach, what are we going to do here, fourth and inches? Are we going to answer this? Seattle has really turned it on here. Might need a touchdown. Are you going to take a field goal or are you going to go for it? They're going to kick the field goal. Dynamite is Tim Gettys out here. Tim, the lower limb. Kick is up, and the kick is good. That's going to be 23 to 17. I would have expected them to go for the fourth down play, Dynamite. I also expected us to maybe, maybe Austin Creed chuck that red flag out there. Yeah. Maybe see yeah. if we actually got the first down, but it does look like he ended up being short. And here's the kickoff from Tim Geddes to Jeff Rubenstein, and a really nice gain up to the 27 yard line. You know, if you can get past the 25 yard line. That's a pretty decent return in my book. Is Phil Spencer coming back out here with this offense and has really been productive this second half. First yeah. half looking really slow for the Seahawks and they were blessed with a fumble by blessing. Yeah, they have answered the call right here and going right back to Jeff Rubenstein who's been working much bigger than his opponents out there and that size is really playing a factor. And here's a handoff to uh, that was a handoff to Rubenstein, and here's a halfback screen tackled Ooh. immediately by this defense, sniffed out immediately, and this this defense and this crowd is getting pumped up here, Dynamite. Yeah, the Santa Clara faithful are getting pumped up. Let's see if they can get a stop, and it's going to be close, fourth and inches, and I think if you're a Seattle Seahawks fan, they got to go for it. Momentum on your side. And they're going to punt it away, though. They're going to punt it away, Dynamite. You don't want to give the Niners the ball back that quickly. But at fourth and inches, if I'm if I'm that squad, I'm, I'm definitely taking that risk. A great punt as well. We didn't talk about that one. Making it all the way to the 20. So we will get a reset <laughs> here heading into the fourth quarter. Put your fours up if you're watching right now live with this broadcast. Of course, welcome back to the sidelines. I issued an apology earlier, and I need to look at the camera once again and say, you know, today we've been drinking a lot of deep Eddie vodka. I've been juiced up with this silver drug that they've been giving me in San Francisco, and we've just been losing our minds right now at the broadcast booth, but I promise you to have a good time each and every week. And Dynamite, down there, <laughs> Down there, Dynamite. Have you had any sort of back and forth with Nick Scarpino after that verbal abuse you had with him? Yeah, he did uh, throw a couple of words about my mother, and then he spit Holy on my cow. shoe. But I took the high road here, and I looked over at what the fuck did you just say to me, Nick Scarpino? Oh my god! Oh get my the goodness! Fuck over there. Mike, you need to get back, up, get back, up, get back up here, Mike. Get back up here. We we can't we can't be fighting with the players right now, Dynamite. We can't be fighting with the players. As the fourth quarter begins here, you got to be careful, Dynamite. That man, he may be old, he's got that old man strength, all right? Here's a handoff <laughs> to Ant-Man. It's going to be a gain of five yards. Trucks ahead. 12 yards, 12 uh, rushes on the day, Dynamite, for him. And 73 yards, a great day of production. As Scarpino drops back, throws far wow. left to Ant-Man and is tackled by number six. That's going to be Quandre Diggs. Third and three. Can the Seahawks this, get the ball back immediately on this third down play? Yeah, big moment right now. Got to have it. Oh, wow. Fumbles it with the brick hands, and we got a punt. That is not what you wanted to see to start off the fourth quarter here for our San Francisco squad. That's an amazing, uh, unfortunate uh, set of events right there, Dynamite. We have a big drop by Brandon Ayuk, and you're giving the ball right back. 
You were hoping to get the ball back and get some insurance points out here, but here come the Seahawks. Here comes Phil Spencer. Let's see what he can do out here on the 29-yard line here in the fourth quarter, 10 minutes this is, ago. This is unfortunate, of course. This is what you want to see if you're a football fan tuning in a six-point game with Seattle currently with all the momentum driving down the field right now. But on the opposite side for our San Francisco faithful, you think to yourself, what is going on? We have been brick-walled all of the second half right now and i'm probably going to blame it on nick scarpino but that's just me coach i think that's the right call spencer throws deep left and that is intercepted oh! by squid banks kind of funny best friend squid banks with a huge interception and return down to the 23 yard line amazing deflection and great concentration to find the ball in mid-air that's the sort of play you want from this defense and again, Phil Spencer, we've seen it two weeks back to back. What a fantastic play by that cornerback. We've seen two quarterbacks against these Niners squads perform the number one sin you cannot throw against your body running the opposite way. And Phil Spencer throws the ball a little bit short. And holy cow, what a play by Squid Banks. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The second interception of the day for Phil Spencer and the Seattle Seahawks right now. And now it's gonna be all up to the 49ers here in the red zone. And now we got ourselves an opportunity to score and put this one just out of reach. And Garrett Redden is saying, cameraman, get the fuck out of my way. That's kind of funny, best friend Garrett Redden. Nice pitch and catch to Garrett on the right side. Really great catch. First and goal. Well. 9.45 left in the game on the four yard line, Scarpino. Drops back, feels the pressure, and gets sacked from behind. Yes. By Antoine Woods. I believe his name is Antoine. <laughs> Al Woods. Al Woods, Al. Antoine Woods used to play for the Cowboys, I think. Let oh, me know, okay, chat. Okay. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. Almost said Tiger Woods. I only know like three Woods. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tiger Woods. And uh, Pete I'm Carroll. Really cheering on his defense. That's a big drop back. There on the 11-yard line, second and goal for these Niners. Scarpino hands off to Ant-Man and kind of brings it back up to the same spot they were just at, third and goal. Yes. Third and goal for these Niners at the five-yard line. Scarpino looks in the middle all of the, the field, and the that world. is all day to Andy Cortez in the back of the end zone. That's another one of those moments where you say, why is nobody covering that man? Look at this clueless linebacker. Yeah, going to the zone defense, nobody, as Andy Cortez is able to slice and dice, you find the gaps in that one. And another touchdown added to his day. He's having himself a great week too right now. And they're going for two right here. That was over the head of kind of funny best friend, Ryan Russell. And with these crossing routes, you have them all day. No pressure from the defense. And that is caught by Ant-Man Esquivel for the two-point conversion. 31-17 for your Niners here in San Francisco. A solid performance here. Just when you thought, man, are we going to leave the door open? We have shut the door on Seattle heading into that second half of the fourth quarter. And I don't know if Phil Spencer and the squad will have the answer for what the San Francisco team is bringing. Don Wani in chat says it exactly. He's showing how big he really is out there yes. in that field. Cortez showing how big he really is. He's a shower, not a grower, you know? He's a shower and a grower, folks. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 31 to 17 as these Seahawks are kind of feeling the pressure here at Dynamite. It looks like they were going to be close for a while and an unfortunate interception to Squid Banks brought all the way back up just kind of stopped a whole lot of momentum for him. Spencer throws to the right, and that is Ooh. nearly picked off by cool Greg Geddes. Or that Another was Andre one. Pondre, my mistake. What the fuck is that guy just standing there? That man, is it, he's that man. looking to take Sourdough Sam's job That man took week. some ayahuasca before the game. He has no idea where he's at. And here's a pass to the left, and that is deflected by cool Greg Geddes. And they immediately get to a fourth down and here's a punt by punter Michael Dixon uh oh, oh that oh, could be a flag no flag right now no call, flag we're not calling oh 
Oh, wow, he hurt that man. Injury. I think he might have broken the kicker's leg right there. Injury on Alton Robinson. Is that one of our guys? I think that so. Is not, was that no? Oh, uh oh, no, I believe no. that was a Seattle Seahawks player right they, there. They didn't call the flag. Very shocking. I thought they would have called running into the kicker or roughing. And here is a big hit by number 93, Christopher Rodriguez. Where the hell has John Burrito Man been, huh? Yeah, Burrito Man, nowhere to be seen on that right end. Pass out left to George Kittle. That's going to be a gain of seven, third and three for these Niners. And again, there just hasn't been a whole lot of pressure as Ant-Man rushes up the middle. They have had the middle of the field open all day, and there's just not been any pressure on this offensive line or the quarterback as we get a tackle from cornerback, defensive back, Sarah Bond. So shifty from Ant-Man 0208. He has now surpassed his week one totals with 89 yards this week. So close to the triple digits. I believe Andy Cortez out in the wideout position has gone over 100 yards as well. So nice to see some great productivity. Nick Scarpino nearing the 300 yard marker along with three touchdowns on the day. Scarpino drops back, throws out right. That's caught by Brandon Ayuk for a gain of eight. Dropping dimes out there is Scarpino, looking very accurate so far. Second and two on the 45-yard line. Here's a handoff to Ant-Man and gets stuffed Ooh. early by number 56. Looks like he was going to evade the tackle, but Jordan Brooks takes him down. It's third and two. Niners ball on the 45-yard line. Hand, hand off to Ant-Man, that's gonna be a first down, a big gain, and he Shifty. keeps plugging forward, and that's gonna be a gain of nine. And it just seems like that's what you gotta do for a first down, just hand it off to Ant-Man, and this, this Seahawks squad has gotta be just tired of seeing these third down conversions. Yeah, that's the stuff, that is the make or break for a franchise right there. Can you get it done when you need it the most? And this Seahawks team has been unable to do that or find an answer to the electricity that is the San Francisco 49ers. Ant-Man nearing the 100 yard marker and the clock continues to chew and chew. And this will most likely be the end of the Seahawks 2022 hopes and dreams. Here's a pass to George Kittle. Second and two. Scarpino, 31 of 39 of the day, 295 yards with three touchdowns. Looking to yes. maybe hit that 300 yard mark. Four minutes left in the game, and this Seahawks defense is looking for a prayer. And that's another first down by Ant Man as he crosses the century mark. 104 yards rushing for Ant Man Dynamite. Great to see awesome week for ant-man he has been the workhorse of this team in the backfield from week one to week two he is reliable he is sturdy he's sustainable and gosh darn it he gets it done and that is what you like to see same goes for nick scarpino and andy cortez along with brandon Ayuk, who's had himself a nice little quiet game and here's a run stop for a gain of three a lot of these runs as soon as they're stopped, they look like they're going to be no gain or a loss of a yard, but they always end up being a gain of three or four, and that's kind of where they chip damage you right there. And here's a nice pass to Debo Samuel catch up the middle as Scarpino crosses the 300-yard mark for the day. And this one might be all but over, Dynamite. There's three minutes left to go, and the Niners are threatening to score again. If they, even if they kick a field goal, I think it's going to be just really out of reach. Yeah, the Seattle team is going to have to go back to the locker room, have a conversation about their players, and say, do we need to reach out to a third party? Do we need some sort of help to secure this squad and possibly head into the playoffs? It's only week two. They got plenty of time, but how much time is enough time for this team? And that's going to be a touchdown to Debo Samuel. From Scarpino to Debo Samuel. And this one is... Looks close for a bit there, Dynamite, and now it's all but a blowout. Great week, though. We've been enjoying the sunshine. We've had two games, you and I, Coach, and we finally get to have some rest off of just this wild alcohol-fueled peyote trip that we've had out <laughs> in the parking lot. It turned into Burning Man at mm -hmm. one point here in Santa Clara, but we're finally going to go home. We're going to let these fans rest, and we'll come back looking to get another big win next week.
There were no laws out there. There were no cops. There was no structure. It was just feral beasts living among one another, feeling each other, getting inside of each other's mm -hmm. minds and bodies. And I'm gonna miss it, Dynamite. I'm gonna miss it. It was a great weekend. Yeah, a lot really, of really, awesome. Really weird to think that I'm just a 20 minute drive home. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I really felt like I was on a different. I was on a different plane of existence. Is the Niners kick off and the Seahawks come out, try to make some sort of miracle happen. And we have some best friends right now watching the broadcast. Of course, you can live tweet at us by going to twitch.tv slash kind of funny games. Send us your tweet and we'll have that up on the big board. Of course, Blast Plays Viz says, I would say Cortez has really been a tent pole of this game. And I agree, really strong, sturdy, pitching up there and just securing this win for us. I'd absolutely agree with that too, Dynamite, as we have a pass out to number nine, Kenneth Walker the third. That's gonna be a first down for the Seahawks. Phil Spencer, what can he do? What can he do? No exclusives for so long, so many delays, so many issues. But can yeah. we get something going for the end of 2022? Will grounded be that title, Dynamite? Mm -hmm. Here in garbage time right now, you just look to grab anything. You look to grab a ground and you look to grab a pentamin and just kind of put it up and just say people, hey, we did something. We we tried. We tried mm -hmm. our best. And Fred Warner with a massive day dynamite. Ten tackles on the day. I believe that was just his 11th. It was a pass from Spencer to number 20, Philip Espinosa, gym leader Phil. And they're just in the, uh, they're in the no huddle. They're trying to get something done here. Got to do something. You just got to hope and toss one up. If they can get another touchdown, maybe reduce this down to a 14-point deficit, make it look a little bit better right now. But uh, it has been all 49ers all game long. And really, Nick Scarpino has been the leader of that. You got to be impressed with the old guy for coming out and playing so well. I know week one battled through the rain, had to rely on the run game. But this week, we got to see him take it to the air. And the squad really played well. Andy Cortez, a whole lot of yak. A lot of yards after the catch, and it's impressive to see. And that's a great grab right there. Something to put on the Sports Center highlight. Absolutely, and I'm really shocked that you're complimenting Nick after the verbal barrage you gave him earlier in the game. Yeah, a lot of people say we might have to go to counseling and talk this one out. We'll yeah. see how we feel heading into week three between me and Nick and the families involved. And right now watching this Seahawks offense is there's only 30 seconds left in the game. And that's going to be another touchdown to DK Metcalf, his third on the day. And you watch and you see how quickly they operate there. The amount of times I've watched Cowboys games as a kid and nothing, fucking nothing's happening on the field with Tony Romo or the offense. And then they get into the no huddle and suddenly it's dink and dunk and dink and dunk and completion, first down, first down, first down. As a Seahawks fan, you got to be wondering why weren't we doing more of this throughout the game as they drive down the field pretty quickly to get a score with DK Metcalf. And here comes the onside kick, Dynamite. Yeah, let's see how this plays out for them. Down by 14, not really going to matter, but great hands by the hands team right there. And that's going to be secured. And we're going to be able to go out there and take a knee to end this week of football. And it's been a great one, Dynamite. It's been a pleasure sitting beside you. Yes. Uh, you have reeked of alcohol and drugs all day. <laughs> it's, it's finally time that I kind of let you know that, all right? We need to watch out and, and be careful out there, okay? Uh, just because it's legal to smoke on the bench doesn't mean you need to be with the squad down there, okay? <laughs> this squad is a bunch of hooligans, coach, and I will do my best throughout the season to try not to get tangled up for them. But as Cool Greg once said, no narcs, okay? Don't be narking on me over here to the broadcast team. Don't be narking. And these Seahawks are going to continue to use all of their timeouts. You see those, you see on the top left, Mike, those plants? What are those shrubs? Yeah. What's that shrubbery doing up there? I was just going to ask I you. I want to visit you know, up there. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure we could probably reach out to our co-owners, get ourselves a nice little tour of this facility here in Santa Clara. little terrarium up there. We have one timeout left here by the Seahawks, and this should just about do it here. Yep. The Some 49ers are riding play. high and hard, says Erdy Cooper. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Could so not hard. agree more. We're about to reach the climax here in 22 seconds. Just give me a little more time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm almost there, folks. 22 seconds to go, and this will be the final kneel to end the game. One more, fucking Jesus! Just let it happen. <laughs> what? One more, one Just more, let one it more. Happen. Come on, Jesus! And that's gonna do it, folks. Your Niners take home the victory against the Seattle Seahawks, the Microsoft squad. Scarpino giving the camera some love. You know he loves to do that. 38 to 24 here in Santa Clara as Scarpino gives some love to kind of funny best friends, Ryan Russell and Ricky Baltazar, BJ Bernardo. It's 38 to 24 here. And uh, you know what? We had a great day today, Dynamite. We had a yeah. fantastic day. Um, I had a lot of fun. It started to get a little close there, a little too close for comfort. Yeah. Kind of wish the Seahawks would have produced a bit more. But aside from that, I had an absolute blast, and it was an honor sitting here with you today, Dynamite. Yeah, Coach, another great oh, week. A double header. You and I, we really brought that. I chucked my microphone and Nick Scarpino back there, so oh, I was unable to get it. Okay. But uh, I'll tell you what, Coach, you when I look to back mine. You can talk into mine. Oh, okay, get closer. You know, when I look back at it, Coach, I got to say, we had a really great time here in the broadcast booth. We filled in for the squad for the double header, and it was fun. I mean, Justin Herbert and the team, they take the L because you can't spell L.A. without a big old L and a loss. And then over here, I mean, the squad is just looking good, Coach. I'm really pleased with what we got going on here. Thought Microsoft would bring in the battle. They didn't, so uh, we'll take that W. The audio got worse for the bit. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching week two of the Kind of Funny Football League. I am just as excited as I was for week two as I am for week three. We'll see you then, everybody. But Twitch chat, stick around because we'll be voting for the second game to broadcast along with your Niners game next week. We'll see you next time, everybody. Go home safe and watch out with the Viagra, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>